Let somebody call Baltimore and just add me on fucking Cookie Run. something out of the way here okay hi techie yo what up baby good to see you man uh let's get one thing out of the way okay let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room okay okay saw a lot of comments did mike low oh my god bro hold up no it's not no it's fucking not i bet you the microphone is fucking perfect okay don't don't bullshit me okay regardless let's address the elephant in the room uh, all right uh, anyways let's address the other elephant in the room the symbolic let's address the symbolic uh elephant in the room uh mike low no it's fucking not just turn up your fucking audio jeez anyways all right. Uh, anyways, 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 anyways. Uh, you know what's crazy when somebody tells my ass to turn up my fucking microphone? Like, there's just like, there's like, there's just like, there's like, there's, I just like, I don't believe you. Like, like, oh, bro, like, dude, too loud? No, it's not. It's fine. Anyways, anyways, it's fine. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Okay, I was seeing, I was seeing Twitch chat. I was see Mike is broken. No, it's not. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, mic is fluctuating. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. Why am I streaming? Guys, can I go offline? Are we good? Can I just take a... Did you turn on noise suppression? Did you turn on noise suppression or something? Your gain is going up and Miss down a bunch. Oh Eggie my love. god, well, Hito's saying it, so it's actually real. Eggy Ray. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, here we go, guys. Let's figure this out together. Here we go. All right, we're up, we're man, we grabbing chaos crystals today. We're Ross. on condenser, which should be good, right? We want condenser. <clears throat> and then now I press OK, right? But then the moment I press OK, it changes. So what's that about? OK, so let's see here. Noise eggy gate. Love, eggy love. Right? I feel like, you know, four. Bro, you sound like a robot or some shit. Is it actually that bad? 
Ah, I don't know. The gate is fine. Okay, I mean, I feel like I have everything fucking turned off, right? I feel like it should probably be fine. No, it's good. It's good or no? You sound muffled. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> do I re- <clears throat> do I really sound that muffled or no? All right, let's check it out. Let's pull it up. Let's see how bad I sound. Do I re- <clears throat> do I really sound that muffled or no? I feel like do I sound I, re- I feel like I sound fucking fine. Am I crazy? Am I fucking nuts? Like I feel like I sound fucking fine. I just heard how I sound. A- a- am I am I insane? You sound sick. I mean, okay. Well, no, I'm just not used to talking. I did. I Corgo really... 100. I don't even know what the fuck that means, guys. What the fuck is Corgo 100? Is that like a new? And I have no noise. So Tick decides anyways, to come back again. Anyways, anyways, it's fine, guys. The point is, is that people will bitch about absolutely anything. So why worry about it? You know what I'm saying? Let's just move forward collectively as a community, and let's talk about. You know what? Maybe my microphone is fucked up. Should I answer him? Good idea. What if I just turn off TTS and that way you have nothing to compare it to? So that way there's, you know, that way there's nothing to say that it's bad. Oh, it is bad though. It is bad. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me do this. Let me bump it up to gain 48. How's this? Oh, it's the same. It's the same no matter how much I raise it. What if I go like this? Is that better? No, it fucks it. I have a better idea. What if I do this? Is that better? I bet you that's better. I bet you I just fixed it. Ugh. I I bet you, I bet you I just fixed it. Did I fix it? Yes. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I figured it out. I figured it out. I mean, <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, bro. Ugh. Look at me. In, insane tech issue fixer, bro. Uh, OBS filter? No. Uh, there's this little knob on my GoXLR. There's a little knob uh, on my Go XLR that I get to, uh, you know, <clears throat> have on OBS. Maybe I don't need somebody to fix my tech issues. Maybe I don't need Mojito. Hey, man, look at me, bro. Shit. I'm like a fucking professional at this shit, bro. Yeah, those fuck with me too. My cat's in it. Yeah, bro. Easy. Okay, anyways. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's continue on here. Let's take uh, something first and foremost. It's very important. First of all, are we all listening? Uh First thing to note, my sub count is atrocious. Uh, feeling pretty bad about myself, guys. Uh, we dropped down. We're, we're about to hit 4K. I'm starting to get anxiety. It's freaking me out a little bit. So if we want to get some subs for my triumphant return, that would be great. Okay? That would be great. Okay? 5K subs, it's kind of pathetic. I'm not going lo- to lie, guys. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get some uh, 100 gifted in the chat. I'll wait. Um, guys, um, we often hear CN- um, um, <laughs> uh, guys, they're just late. They're just, they're just late. They're just late, guys. They hold up. They're, they're coming. Just give them a second. They're, they're coming. They're just, uh, yeah, they're, uh, yeah. Should I cry? It's just really, it's really, it's been really hard. It's just been really fucking hard because, like, there's just been so much going on. I just really can't handle it. And nobody, nobody understands how hard it's been for me. And just, you know, the only thing that would make me feel better would just be, oh god, my heart. Hold up. <clears throat> One second. Let me, uh, let me try this again. <clears throat> let me try this again. Hold up. Let me, uh, yeah. One second, guys. Yep, let me just, uh, one second, guys. Let me, uh, yep, let me, uh, yep, one sec. Well, it's almost done, guys. One second. Let me just, stop. Uh... sorry, we're, we're, we're doing, we're doing something real quick. Yeah, 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 there we go. And then, uh, yep, can we, uh, okay, so how do I print screen? Yep, and then, uh, boom, bada bing, bada boom, and then, yep, and then, uh, yep. Okay. And then can I can I copy paste that or no? Can I not do that? Can I uh, can I? Ooh, I don't know how to copy paste. Maybe if I do Twitter and then I go, ooh, I can copy paste it in there. 
Uh, ooh, but I don't want to post it to my Twitter. Maybe I go to my community egg. No, no, we're gonna we're, we're gonna figure this out. There's no way anybody's ever gonna post porn in here, so it's probably fine, right? No one's ever gonna post porn in this up thing. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then I can save image. Oh my god, this is genius. Okay, all right, hold up, guys. This this bit is gonna be so funny. It's gonna be so worth it, guys. <clears throat> okay. All right. Guys, it's just been really fucking hard. <laughs> okay. I can't. I, I really, I shouldn't, dude. I was going to go, I was going to go way too far with this bit. I was going to go way too far with this bit. I just can't, bro. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't. I can't. I, 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 I'm, I'm fucked up, but I'm not that fucked up. Well, you know what? I am that fucked up, but I don't feel like being that fucked up now. No background music? Oh, I know. Is it weird? Yeah, are you uncomfortable because there's no background music? Here you go, bro. I got you. Uh, here, maybe maybe this will make you feel better. Hopefully, this will make your uh, ADD ass. Here you go, man. All right, guys. So, anyways, as I was saying, uh, I've been gone for three days, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, my dad died yesterday. And it's been pretty rough. Uh, because I killed him, and I feel like the police are on to me, and uh, it's kind of just like, well, what do we do now, right? So I'm trying to figure out, anybody want to hide a body? Okay, anyways, guys, I'm going to go see Kung Fu Panda 4 tonight. Uh, if anybody wants to stream snipe me, I will be watching Kung Fu Panda uh, at a movie theater in Austin tonight. So, Stream Sniper's welcome, man. Stream Sniper's welcome. Come here, go fuck your time, man. Jack Black, all that bullshit. They need to do this. Listen, wait, listen to this. Wait, is this real? What the fuck? What, what the fuck is this? Is Arnold there? Jack Black touches turns to gold. It turns to gold, man. He's the fucking goat for a fucking reason. All right, so let's let's. There's a full version. Great, I'll watch that shit too. All right, so let's talk, guys. Let's talk. So, okay, uh, how come you didn't tell us your dad is Hulk Hogan? What does that even mean? Hulk Hogan. Wait, arrived the scene of his DUI's arrest and wait. <laughs> I thought that was me. I actually, uh, I actually thought that was me. Yo, Mr. Pokey. What up, dog? How was it? How were things while I was gone? Was everything okay? Everything good? Did you have a good time? Hey, guys, thanks for taking care of my son for a little bit while I was gone. I appreciate it. Nuclear drama? What happened, man? What happened? Who fucked up, bro? Who fucked up OTK and Star Wars? Oh, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. Oh, okay. Goes out of the chat. It's kind of confusing. So they basically just stream ourselves. We don't do anything for a living. I don't even know how to describe that. But this is the chat. They want to say hi to you. Oh, okay. Now. Now. Here you go. Now. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I can't wait. I cannot wait for the OTK film festival. I, dude, I cannot wait. We'll, we'll, we'll. 
I'll ask Will if I'm allowed to restream it. I'll ask Will if I'm allowed to restream it. Genshin about to be Roblox? What the fuck does that even mean? Project Junjing PV? What the fuck is that? Brand new open world? Okay, we'll look at that shit too. Okay, all right. Okay, can we talk now? Can we talk? Can I, Robin, Robin Drip Market? Holy fuck you. Here we go. All right, here we go. Jesus Christ, bro. Can I get, can I get a fucking break? Okay, can we talk? Can we talk? Are we good? I know I know we're all excited. I know we're all excited. It's 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 been my first break that I chose to do. It chose to do. And I want to make that very very clear. Um I, I saw a lot of people in my offline chat say, and it was probably a joke, is Techie not streaming because he hates us? And I want to make sure that's very clear. No, that's not the reason. Okay, no. I, I did not take a break from streaming. I did not take a break from streaming because streaming is hard. It, it's the it's pretty much the same reason why I always take a break. My personal life was just getting way too fucking weird. Okay, so, uh, you know, I, my address was leaked, and I'm trying to get a new house so I can fucking move, this, that, and the other, and I've been polishing my guns. That way, if anybody shows up at my house, I'm just going to kill them. <clears throat> I'm going to kill them. Okay, so don't show up at my house, guys. Okay? Okay, I already have a 2 200 KDA right now. I don't need to make that shit four, five, six, seven. I don't care. I live in Texas. Don't come on my fucking property. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Okay? All right, let's go on to you. Okay, I see you outside my house right now. Okay, one more step, buddy. One more step, and I'm in my jurisdiction. Okay, so I want to make it very clear. It, I, I didn't think a break because streaming is hard. I took a break because my personal life was really fucking shit. And I just wanted to get all my ducks in a row. And a lot of people are looking at me for, like, you know, guidance on how to feel and, like, how to overcome, like, difficulties. So, you know, I wanted to take care of a couple of my buddies. And I got a whole bunch of plans for content that I've been planning, too. And things are looking really fucking good, dude. Things are looking really good. Uh, I talked to, uh, to a psychiatrist. I have a thing that he calls black sheep syndrome. I've never even heard of this. I even Googled it. I'm pretty sure he just made it up. Uh, but essentially, it's easier for me. So let me give you a little, let me give you an explanation. Let me give you an explanation. So I have a really hard time watching others deal, deal with with hate, like with conflict, with anger. Um, when I was a kid, and if you watch my first Dr. K interview, you'll see this. When I was a kid, um, my, my household was very abusive. It was very abusive. My mom would hit us, this, that, and the other. Okay. Um, now, my problem was, your mic sounds weird. Okay. Then, okay. Well, you know, oh, man. I, okay. I was about to say something crazy. No, it fucking doesn't. Your ears are fucked up, you fucking retard. All right. Let's continue right here. Okay. When I was a kid, uh, and my mom would be pretty angry, okay? And and to be honest, and I want to make this very clear, I feel like it's rightfully so, okay? My mom having to deal with us three and my fucking drug-addicted criminal sister and my middle brother, who's like a PSD fucking nuclear nightmare. Okay, okay. my old, my oldest brother was dope. I don't know what problems you could have with him. And I was a fucking angel, okay? I would just sit there, right? I would just fucking sit there. I wouldn't do nothing. I would just be nice. I'll be, I was an angel. I have always been an angel, will always be an angel. I am one of the best people on planet Earth. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. But the problem is people don't like accepting that uncomfortable truth because they want to pick, put, put me as the old dick tone, right? This dick tone, easier for me to rationalize. It's very hard for people to rationalize that. Uh, you know, what can I say? I'm just one of the best human beings on the planet Earth, right? The, the, the nicest, the most caring, the most supporting. Uh, hence why, you know, OnlyFans girls parade themselves downstairs on my lower floor of my house. I guess I'm just a really good guy. You know, I'm just a really good guy and everybody knows it. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's easier it's easier to go live and, and, and just type dick tone, right? Because then it, it makes sense in your head, right? They're like, oh, yeah, this guy's a dick. No, he's a fucking dick. He's a fucking dick, right? He's the dick. It, what, 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 else, what else could I? No, he's the dick. I'm. I, I, it's easier for me to rationalize. Putting angel tone to a bald guy, that doesn't make any sense. By the way, Umero 3 d put out new porn. Really good. NTR shit. Uh, and uh, and cuckoldry. So if you guys are a cuck, look into that, bro. Umuro 3D, good shit. Anyways, uh, moving forward, moving forward. Uh, it's easier for me to be in pain than see others in pain. So I sometimes take the heat from other people when I really shouldn't. I, I end up covering for people that I shouldn't, right? 
Uh, and so when I was a kid and my brothers would fuck up a lot, I would intentionally provoke my mother. That way she'd be angry at me and not them because it was easier for me to get punished than watch my brothers get punished. And that's an effect that has carried over until today. Right, currently, enviosity is experiencing one percent of the pain that I've gone through uh, my entire life, amongst other things. Uh, and uh, you know, it, it's tearing people apart. You know, it's it's a lot to deal with. It's kind of like uh, if you ever watched Yu Yu Hakusho. It's kind of like if you ever watched Yu Yu Hakusho, and uh, Genkai gives Yusuke, yeah, the mint picker. Sorry, yeah, the fucking fucking dirty mint picker. Right. So the thing is, if you watch Yu Yu Hakusho when you were a kid, there's a scene where Genkai gives Yusuke, Kekona, gives Yusuke like 5% of her power. And he goes into a cave and writhes around in it, rolling in pain and screaming and crying because now he understands the burden of power and then eventually evolves, right? Or he had the consequence of simply dying. But Yusuke overcomes, so... I don't want to watch Yusuke roll around in a cave for five episodes, although I believe he does get head at the end of it, but I can't remember anyways. Or maybe it was a bird on his head, one of the others. Uh, but regardless, it's just hard for me to witness that. And so I live my life in a way where I unfortunately tank, you know, some shit that maybe I shouldn't be tanking. Maybe I should just, you know, you know, just, just, just speak my truth a little bit earlier. But uh, to be honest, I don't feel like talking about it, and I hope that's, I hope that's understood. Uh, I like to keep my personal life very separate, and uh, I, I just, it's nobody's, it's nobody's interest. Okay, it's, it's nobody's interest. What's going on behind the scenes, unless I tell you. Uh, and, and I'm gonna keep it a buck, guys. And from this point forward. Right from this point forward until perpetuity, I will never be in another public relationship ever again. Okay, I'm just, I'm simply not going to do that. I don't need Twitch chat letting me know about how I'm microaggressing on people because I asked for a cup of water or, oh, God forbid I asked Laro for a fucking smoothie. Do you know how much the internet would freak out when I tell you guys I've been fucking Laro every night for the past two years? Right? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Right? Because, it, I mean, I don't think the internet's ready for that shit. Okay? I don't think the internet's ready to hear that I'm fucking gay. But, like, until you see, bro, I'll be real, bro. I'll be real. You can see me fucking a bitch. You can see me making out with a bitch. You can see me fucking taking people on motherfucking dates, Six Flags, okay? Buying somebody a goddamn car. You can see me at a wedding. You can see me getting married. And you know what I'll say? No, no, we're not. Nope. Fuck that. I'm single forever. I'm not doing public relationships. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You could see me literally having a child with a wedding wing on my hand and I will never, ever, 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 fucking never admit to shit. Okay, because public relationships are fucking cringe. And I don't need these fucking retards saying, Oh my God, did you see how he said that to this person? Did you see this? Like all the, do you think I want incels back seeing a relationship? Fuck no. So you can tell anybody who ever asks, Tectone is single and will always be single because he's gay. Because he's bald. Because it goes against his religion. Uh, fuck that. Fuck. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that. Anyways, guys, I might be doing a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship uh, at some point in the near future. Um, I know I told you guys three years ago to get angry at me if I did it. Uh, but I really want money. So I'm thinking about playing it for fun. Yeah, so I might be doing that in the next couple months. Just want to give you guys a heads up so you can mentally prepare your own assholes for me to obliterate that game. Yeah, they're going to be paying me a lot of money. Like a comical amount of money. Uh, so I'm going to get that bag uh, because I want it. Because now I need to buy a new house and uh, I want to get a good house. I'm buying. I'm going to buy a content house. I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm going to, I'm going to, buy, a, I'm going to buy a content house. Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy a content house. Probably going to get a pool. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I want to, I want a room that's big enough to host sleepovers because I want to start doing sleepover streams, right? Uh, so guys, this isn't going to be possible at 5,000 subs. Uh, I'm going to just keep it a buck. Okay. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Right. Uh, so yeah, we're going to need at least 
We're going to need at least 6K, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get to go and buy Asmund's house. Yeah, yeah, probably for $5. To be honest, Asmund would probably have to give me money for me to take his house. That is a lot of work, man. That is a lot of work. Okay, unless he has like some of his cum on the floor and then I can like take it and then like clone him. And then in 20 years time, I'll have another guy to just make his old YouTube channel, a new YouTube channel as Asmund clone. Then that would probably pay itself off. But like, what are the off chance? You know, because then the bugs and the rats have probably already slurped it up uh, to get his genetics. Uh, what was the name of the ex artist Tecton said earlier? Jesus Christ, bro. I talked about all this shit. And you're still thinking about porn and coming and jerking your cock. This is what's wrong with America, man. This is what's wrong with America. Is that you guys are more worried about what to jerk your dick to than the fact that the American education system is the worst it's ever been and the fact that we have a old, a old fucking, an old fucking skeleton, a lizard man as our president who has not done shit, okay? Joe, Joe Lydon. What the fuck? What happened to the college debt payoff, Joe? What happened? Oh, did you forget? Oh, you're going to do that shit in the morning when you wake up? You're not going to, man. You fucked my homies out of $40,000 for fun, Joe. Yeah, tell, tell me more lies, Joe. I love that shit. Bro, get them the fuck out, boys. Get them the fuck out. We'd, we'd offer to fucking throw them out of the office, but he'd probably trip, fall, break a bone. I don't want to be liable to be for a fucking lawsuit. I'm good. Anyway, so I learned something recently. Uh, in case you guys know, I'm now on day five of TRT. I got testosterone replacement therapy. Uh little ballpark 80 year old men have testosterone levels of 300 18 year old men have 1100 uh i clocked in at a whopping 247 uh so i'm getting my testosterone levels regulated uh all of my lifts have gone up dramatically and uh i for some reason am just way more out of pocket and i've lost a lot more of my filter so i want to say this i almost said something really bad i, <laughs> I want to make this very clear if i say something out of pocket I would really appreciate it not being clipped, right? I really, I would really appreciate it not being clipped because, because I mean, my God, my God, the shit that I, wait, time to leave Texas. Hold up. What is this? What happened? Uh, Texas can require age verification on porn sites. Isn't that like a good thing? Isn't that like a good thing? Do you think a hair you? transplant starts with a doctor extracting hair follicles from the back of your head. These are carefully removed one by one, and they each contain a few hairs. Then they are meticulously implanted in the balding areas. Each follicle is placed in a way that matches the natural growth direction of your hair. And once they've adapted to their new location, they'll begin to grow and fill in. Okay. So, so the WWE he, shut the fuck up. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to make an executive decision. I will no longer even be considering getting a hair transplant. I'm not going to do it. Uh, don't care. Uh, never really wanted one was only doing it to make my homies feel better. Uh, I just don't want one. I don't want to be one of these sad little soy men who are crying every day because they're losing their fucking hair. Just shave it off. Okay? Who cares? Okay? Just don't fight it. Just let it fucking happen. Just shave your fucking head. It's fine. I I'm not going to sit here and cry every day. Like, oh, man. Oh, my hair's getting a little bit thinner. Oh, I'm bald a little bit. Who cares? Who cares? I did, it just doesn't matter. I mean, let, let's just be fucking real, okay? Asmund would look better if he was bald. We all fucking know it, okay? Ms. Kiff would be fucked. I will admit that. Ms. Kiff, Ms. Kiff should get a hair transplant because he will not, he does not look good bald. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, bro, okay, this dude, this dude 1 million percent should, should, I mean, he, he should, he should get a hair transplant, 1 million percent. Okay, he should get that shit fixed. I get why he's freaking out, right? I get it, because, like, I'll, I'll be real, bro. Have you guys, have you guys seen? Have you guys seen what Mizkiv has looked like lately? Have you seen him recently? Have you seen him? Because this shit's fucked up. 
I took this photo of him. <laughs> Let me just just for comparison, just for comparison, so you know, like the so you know. Like this is this is Mizkif one year ago. This is Mizkif now. <laughs> the resemblance is fucking uncanny, dude. It is fucking uncanny, bro. We're be calling his we're gonna be fucking calling his ass a ladybug for years to come, man. I mean that shit is just unbelievable. I just can't I can't not see it, bro. I can't not see it. It's so fucked up, man. It's literally the same person. I know, bro. It's nuts. It's, bro, if you were to Photoshop his eyes red, that is the same person. You'll find this video funny. Let's see. It's even funnier the eighth time I see that meme, bro. It will, it will, it will legit never not be funny. Rise of Ronan, the final preview. Uh, all right, so let's let's before before we get sweetly trying out the strat. What strat? What? Four crit damage and four speed. We just we can't we just keep winning. <laughs> Who wants the the relic manipulation? <laughs> I think we have a we have a real. Wait, so are you telling me that she got lucky twice and then clipped it? Oh, dude, okay. Dude, I don't even want... Dude, I... Okay, here's the thing. I'm never going to entertain the luck manipulation strat on HSR for relics because the dude who made it is more far up their own ass than me. And when you're more delusional than me, you just need to fucking relax a little bit, bro. Okay, because you're getting to the territory of too far fucking gone. And uh, that is 1 million percent the case of, okay, we need to step back a little bit. I just mean about it. No, but the thing is, the guy who quote unquote made it actually believes the shit that he says. Uh, also, I want to let you guys know. Um, let me walk you through this. Let's let's take you guys on a little journey. Let's take you guys on a little journey. Uh, let's play Boulders Gate OST. This will probably be good. This will probably be a nice little song. All right, here we go. Beautiful. All right. Lace your heart with mine. Let your sleeping soul so I don't want to go into it, but there was a thread about me uh, on a website where a whole bunch of people were trying to be kind to me. The same people who have been causing me shit for about three years for no fucking reason. Uh... It was easier for me to just accept blind hatred without reason than it is for all of these dumb fucks to try to act like we were always cool. Uh, that shit really pissed me off. Then I had to deal with shit in real life. Then I had to deal with shit in real life. Uh, and so I took some time to do that. I want to take you guys down a little path of uh, what I've been doing. So day one, I had to get a new house because my address was doxxed. Okay, let me raise that. I don't have to, but this house kind of sucks because the summer's coming soon and it's going to get really hot and I don't like being on stream and screaming about how fucking hot it is and then taking off my shirt. So I want to move and this is a good excuse, okay? It's either move or I have to kill a couple people. And what do you guys think's better? What do you guys think? Three deaths of kill? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, chat? Um, uh, anyways. Anyways. Uh, anyways, guys. Gotta move. Found a couple places. It was good. Been hanging out a lot with Pinky. Been hanging out a lot with Pinky. And uh, she's been very stressed about a lot of things, which I don't need to go into here. Uh, but I needed to get something to distract her from how, you know, from how much anxiety she has lately. So I thought, what do women like? Cookies. What's something that will distract um, a ADD, ADD brain of Binky? Where like, you know, she's kind of like a cat. You know, where you like, you shine a laser pointer at a wall and then she'll like... You know what I mean? She's kind of like a cat. Right? So I thought, what's something that could distract her? 
gotcha game. So I found a cute little gotcha game called Cookie Run. Fun little game called Cookie Run. I got her to play it. And so she was having a lot of fun. She did two 10 pulls. And she got a legendary unit within two 10 pulls. And I think, oh my God, you got that in two 10 pulls? Damn, I should try. 250 pulls later, I get nothing. <laughs> problem is, problem is, I'm hopelessly, hopelessly addicted. Hopelessly addicted. I'll probably be playing, I'll be real guys, I'm probably gonna be playing Cookie Run on stream. Uh, which by the way, if you're on the server Dark Cacao, uh, I need some whales to help me with my guild. So if anybody, if anybody can help me, I would greatly appreciate that shit, okay? Uh, I have like 120,000 power after 24 hours of playing, uh, and I've only spent maybe like 50, 60 bucks, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, and it wasn't money that I felt like I needed to spend. It's money that I wanted to spend, which I feel like there's very, very, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Oh, and then eventually I did get a dupe, or uh, sorry, spoiler. I got a legendary, but it was a dupe of the one that you get to choose in game, because eventually you just get to choose a legendary, and then the one legendary I pull, it's a dupe of the only one that I already had. So, it's Moonlight. So I have two copies of Moonlight now. Which, you know, could be worse. I know Moonlight's pretty good. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, there's this there's this cookie cookie called Moonlight. And, uh, she's pretty fucking good. Moonlight's amazing. OP as fuck. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyways. any uh, What game? Cookie Run Kingdom. Did you see the drama between Pokey and Smack? What do you mean by that? Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, never did I think I'd get on. Is this real? Is this? Down, down, down by the river. Is this real? Down, down, down by the river. Smack, smack fucks Mr. Pokey's wife. Nuclear drama. Nuclear. Nuclear global threat level drama. Okay. We're, we're, we're gonna have to cover this. We're gonna have to cover this. Uh, anyways, uh, so I checked a whole bunch of houses. Was good. Might buy a couple places. One of them has a pool. One of them has a catio. I could put a jacuzzi in one of them. Could be pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I, I'll be real. My memory's a blur. I forget what I fucking did. Can we just react to videos and get some YouTube content? Because I haven't uploaded in three days. I'm starting to get stressed out. It's real. They're having a death match on Friday. Uh, yeah, God just Mac claps. It would not even be close. It it would not it would not even be close. New Nikkei collab taste, let's say. <laughs> but who? <laughs> oh, please be Fortnite. Please be Fortnite, bro. Fortnite and Nikkei would be insane. You think it's re-zero? Why do you think it's re-zero? Why do you think it's re-zero? Oh, bro. Stellar Blade looks so good, bro. The X? I don't know, dude. Sadly, it is. Why are we upset about a Nikkei collab happening? Or why, why are we upset about re-zero? Why are we upset... They use the same X in other clouds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not Amelia. More ass because it's in every gotcha. Yeah, but ReZero is a great show. You know what I mean? Why even worry about it? Did you see this? Honkai Star Rail? Yeah, I did see this. Okay, so let's 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 do this. Air boys, we're gonna we're gonna get to the reacting. Anyways, boys, we're back. 
Uh, I'll be live again every day in the morning. Uh, gonna go live way earlier tomorrow. Fried. Shut the fuck sloth. up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna be live Envy. again every day early in the morning like we always are. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're so back. I was browsing. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Uh, appreciate you guys allowing me some time off. Uh, it was desperately, desperately, desperately needed. And, uh, just know that, uh, I appreciate that shit. Uh, but yeah, we're back to streaming normally. Uh, we're back to streaming normally. And I hope it wasn't too terrible. And before we continue on with the React content of our, uh, stream, uh, who'd y'all watch while I was gone? Genuine question. PTO was Saturday? I don't know what the fuck that means. No one? Hokey. Soda. Bow. Senny Hex. Point Crow. Asmin Vods. Lifting streams. Poke or Zizix. Oh, dude. Zizix's stream has been fucking nuts, man. Zizix's stream has been popping the fuck off. Queso and Smack. Smack's been streaming? Shit, dude. Pokey and Doro. Oh, you've been watching. Let's go see what Doro's up to. <laughs> forgot chat yesterday i said <laughs> i'm bored of the fontaine ones let me go back to inazuma and do my commissions there i completely forgot i completely forgot there will be my laptop having what, do, you, what do people do what do people do in this game genuine right you use arlecchino e then you go bennett kazuha shang lang whatever then back to arlecchino and you do your uptime and once your uptime is over, you use E and you swap out of her and you do it again, right? It's technically at the start and at the end, but like not really. Right? How the fuck? It's just because the first rotation happens differently than the others. How the fuck do people give a shit about how to use Arlecchino? The sex offender? <laughs> People actually give a fuck about Min Max and Genshin Impact. No. Am I pulling for her? Yes. Excited would be like, ooh, yeah, I can't wait for her to come out. It's not really like that for her. Like, I'm excited in the sense of, like, I do want to pull her and build her and try her out. And we're going to make a video. I'm thinking about just, like, not doing that. I I'm legit. I'm legit just thinking about just absolutely not doing that. So it's it's fourteen times forty. Five hundred and sixty resin. Oh, Fuck, I was gonna do okay, it first. Yeah. Shit. Okay, never mind. All right, Barbara's staying at her level. So I think look, every single one of these roles helps dilute. Crit rate attack, ER, element of mastery. Every single one of these helps dilute. What do people do in this game? I have not seen a single person do anything that's considered gameplay. Mm. Here we go. Bizarre. Merde. Bizarre, bizarre. Il y, a, il y a un tas de pierres qui ne s'est pas affiché mais que j'ai récupéré. Pourquoi toi Genshin est en train de... Why the fuck is this music so insane? J'aurais peut-être dû faire une commande en vrai. Holy fuck bro, speak English. Y'a rien là Oui non là je remonte... Oui non c'est... je remonte. Et attendez du coup y'a pas un truc là-bas Bon ça c'est bon. Et ça Ok non bah c'est bon bah let's go. Vous la suite. <rire> bon c'est un son chinois. Bah non parce que les gens disent que c'est du japonais. Donc il aurait fallu faire une commande point... En fait... Imagine that. <rire> Imagine that, bro. Imagine that. Anyway, dude, I can't stop listening to that French fucking rap song where it's like, Boe, Boe, shall be caught in ED Daddy. Hey, but I'm Bo. Oh, look at that, bro. Glitter and Brack side by side. This is so cute. Look at these two little guys. They love each other. Oh, look at that EO. Little friends. Little friends. Little gotcha gaming friends. Oh, look at that. Even Sip Sip Steven. They're all here. Look at all these little gotcha guys having fun. That is so cute, bro. Look at him go. That is so that is so much fun. Uh check this out. Let's see. Oh god, are we gonna are we gonna talk about this thing yet? <sighs> yeah, we're gonna talk about this thing. Okay. 
All right. Yep. Okay. Boys, I've been looking forward to not talking about this for quite a while, but I guess but I guess we're going to have to get into it. I guess I'm going to have to be the proverbial the proverbial bearer of bad news. I suppose I'm once again going to have to be the 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 the, the symbolical wet blanket uh for this thing that once again that so many people are excited about. Guys, we're talking about the Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact UGC planning recruitment project. Oh my god. Genshin is developing a new UGC mode in the game. Holy fuck. That's going to be nuts. Dude, this shit is going to be crazy. It's going to be like Roblox inside of Genshin Impact. It's going to be so good. It's going to fix all the issues. And once again, everybody's going to be happy with this. And it's going to be perfect. I would like to put a note and let everybody know that the Genshin Impact anime was announced 1.5 years ago. Okay? I, w- I want to make sure. I want to make sure everybody knows that. I want to make sure everybody remembers that anime was announced one and a half years ago. Okay? All right. Yeah, this will be great. So let's let's talk about all the details for this UGC. <laughs> A recent recruitment by Mahoyo was found asking for people who were interested in developing UGC to join the company. The image above is translated using Google. It appears that they are using UGC, user-generated content, in the game, and calls it equally important as the main game, and even treat it almost as a brand new game. It talks about using hundreds of gameplay mechanisms and art materials to make unlimited combinations and create your own game. Roguelite, HSR Simulated Universe, ZZZ, Social Simulation, Animal Crossing, Situational Puzzle Solving, Cooperative Games, and even Competitive Games are all possible. It specifically wants people who have experience in Minecraft, Roblox, Fall Guys, and Party Animals. So essentially what this is saying is, if you're 8 years old, if you're 8 years old, come work for Genshin Impact because they're used to child labor in China anyways. How's your smartphone, guys? Let's continue on here. You can go to their job website and search for UGC to see the new job posting so it's legit. All right, let's pull it up, man. Let's see here, bro. Let's see here. Man, look at all that. User-generated content. Dude, look at that. We've gotten to the point where even they are saying, okay, we don't know how to play the game, so hey, fuck it, bro. Let's get all these uh, brain-dead children to make the new content for our game. Uh, Let's keep going. Let's read a couple comments before I weigh in. Let's see what we're saying. Now, what is Meat Pigeon? Bad machine translation. It should have said roguelite. Oh, Jesus. How the fuck's that happened? I thought it was talking about Timmy's Pigeons. Shit, they're going to make Counter-Strike with Chevreuse build, aren't they? Lol. Good one. Uh, What's insane is I'm really not seeing that many comments about we believe this. Huge if true. Divine ingenuity copium. So I want to talk about this. Uh, for a pretty good bit because I feel like what Genshin Impact does better than any other company is they take a carrot and they wave it in front of people's face and every single time that horse starts running towards that carrot, not realizing underneath their feet, big old, big old sand trap, quicksand. They start sinking and sinking and sinking and that carrot they'll never get to. That carrot they'll simply never get to. Uh, Wait, click the image? Okay. Let's click the image. What did I miss? Click. Here we go. All right, let's pull it up. There's even more, apparently. Recruitment, UGC. Position level, UGC. Combat, UGC. Want to do something new in Genshin Impact. Want to create a mode that's important as main body of Genshin Impact. Now your chances come. Using your imagination, use hundreds of gameplay mechanisms and art to make unlimited combinations and create your own game. Meat Pigeon, which means roguelite. What the fuck? Simulated management. Situational puzzle solving. uh, Cooperation. Competition. Only you can't think of it. No one can do it. Not even there. What the fuck's that even mean? Join Genshin Impact. Let's create more UGC gameplay content together. 
make Genshin Impact more fun, interesting, and imaginative. We value these qualities more. Full stack capabilities, understanding the field of co uh, cooperation departments, and the ability to undertake independent development of small scale games. Rich game library, familiar with Minecraft, Roblox, Fall Guys, Humanity, Fall Flat, Beast Party, and other games. Strong logical ability and excellent generalization ability. Man, you are reaching out to the wrong community. Bonus points for different positions. Be familiar with the game framework and overall gameplay of Genshin Impact. Have 3C design and polishing capabilities. Familiar with the game framework and overall gameplay of Genshin Impact. Possess the underlying application level of engine and have the ability to split complete levels into small grain parts to make them applicable and more modules. Let's not talk nonsense. You can come to Genshin Impact and blah, 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 blah. We're recruiting people to make the content for the game because we're too stupid and incompetent to do it ourselves. Even with billions of dollars, we would like to give you a fraction of that uh, and you will do it all for us. This will not be good. Uh, and let me tell you why it will not be good. Okay. Uh, the other events in the past that they've had that are similar, uh, I believe it was called Divine Ingenuity, was fun for about a day. Uh, the Serena Teapot uh, clearly shows that for modes like this, there's going to be a load limit, which means they say make millions of combinations. But what they mean to say is make millions of combinations in coordinates with the potential load limit. Uh, did you play Divine Ingenuity Part 2, though? Because that was good. Yeah, for how long? Uh, it wasn't that good. Didn't see hardly any content for it on YouTube. Uh, barely saw anybody do it on stream. And to be honest, now that it's gone, I've seen almost nobody talk about it. So how good is it really? Probably not. Uh, this seems like another thing that... Genshin Impact is attempting to do to essentially say, no, 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 guys, just give us a bit more time. Trust me, this concept that we have is really, really, really good. And you should keep playing the game because you wouldn't want to mess up not playing your account and making it fall out of touch because then you won't be ready for all the new user-generated content. And man, you don't want to skip on Arlecchino because if you skip on Arlecchino, well then how are you going to do all this game mode that we don't know anything about? But it's going to be the best thing ever. There's going to be no issues and it's going to be so good. So keep playing and keep spending even though we told you you fucking nothing. They didn't even show anything. They didn't they didn't even show anything. They showed no trailers. They showed no images. They literally stated a concept. That's it. They put out a 1920 by 4560 PNG of a concept that they have where the users can make the content, not the devs, and people got excited about that because they know the company themselves can't make shit. And that's the thing that really pisses me the fuck off. Now, we can sit here and pretend, and we can call anybody toxic who's not excited about this shit, but here's the reality. These people who have been starved of Genshin Impact content for their entire life get so overexcited for no fucking reason. I've seen people saying, this shit's going to be the new Roblox. Oh, it's going to save the game. And all they said is, hey, there's this new game mode that we're not going to show anything of, but you guys should be excited about it and hype up Genshin Impact on social media like you've been doing for three years. The fact that Welcome Home Father was trending on Twitter for over 24 hours makes me fucking sick, bro. Because we all know Arlen Chino as a character probably isn't going to be that good. Okay. Now, maybe she is. Maybe she'll be better than Farina. But for me, I'll be real. Genshin Impact doesn't really do serious characters that well. They, they really just, like, don't. Now, Honkai Star Rail does them very well. Honkai Impact does them very well. But, like, who's, like, a good, serious character in Genshin Impact? Because it, as far as I'm concerned, every serious character is just a person who speaks emotionless and just... I'm going to kill everyone. Okay. Nervulet, Nervulet is only a good character due to the presence of Farina and having someone to bounce off of, okay? Nervulet as a standalone isn't as good. Nervulet needs Farina to be a great character together because otherwise it's just one note. You can disagree. That's totally fine. You can totally disagree. And you can also say he's really cool because he turned into a dragon and he hydro pumps, but I'll be real, just like Zhongli, really not that good of a character, okay? They're just a dude who speaks monotone, and sure, the words they have might hold weight because they're allowed to do so because they're going to drive banner sales, but the characters really aren't that good. 
they're really just not. They're really not that good. And you can get told I'll hate them. Character also sucks. Dane's Leaf, I would say, sure. They're a good character, but that's also because, uh, well, they have a lot of weight to everything they say. And we all know Dane's Leaf is like the big boss, the end game. But I'm talking like a really good, serious character. Because they're generally very one note, right? For me, I enjoy characters that have depth. Right, characters that have different sides of them. That's why I feel like Farina's the best character in Genshin Impact. Because she's deep. She's misunderstood. There's layers to her. Whereas the majority of serious characters are, I'm very serious about this very serious thing like we need that we need to talk about. Does that make sense or no? Genshin's not a serious game. Oh, trust me, I know. But they try really hard to make it seem that way sometimes. Uh, as long as they have a good ass. Yeah, sure, man. Regardless, uh, I, I really want to hope for Arlecchino, but I have a feeling she's just going to be another one-note character where it's just, this is the depth of her fucking dialogue. This is the depth of her character. But, oh, she looks really hot. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to Arlecchino, and I really hope that I'm wrong. Uh, I probably will play the story quest. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to pull her. I really don't think so. I don't really think there's any reason to pull any character for Genshin Impact whatsoever. There's just not any content to fucking do. Uh <laughs> To be honest, I might also just not even play the story quest. I might just watch it on YouTube uh, if it's uploaded, to be honest. Because, like, going through all the bullshit, I also don't think there's any reason to do that, too. So I might I might just watch the YouTube. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I might even do the same thing for 5, or what is it, 4.2? 5.2? And, yeah, and you can skip on uh, YouTube as well. Uh, why play a game you hate this much? Oh, I don't. No, I just don't. Uh, the reason why it really bothers me... Uh, for this UGC developed content is because once again, this is just going to be another thing that Genshin Impact players are going to hold on to, that they're going to wait for, that they're going to anticipate, and then when it comes out, they're going to be fucking miserable. They're not going to like it. It's not going to be good. And then they're going to think of another reason of why they should quit. And then when it comes out, Holy is going to say, wait, wait, wait a second, guys. Genshin Impact anime is right around the corner. You don't want to miss out on that. And it just makes me very angry. Because rather than show this whole thing that they have planned, how they're going to implement it, what they're going to do, instead they just say, here's a concept. You're never going to know when it's going to come out. We're not going to show you what it looks like because then you can form an actual opinion and then you can actually be informed and we don't want our players to have that knowledge because then they'll actually know that the content's going to be pretty fucking mid. But what I wanted to say is, is that could it be good? Sure, man. It could cure COVID. It could cure cancer. But I guarantee this is something that Genshin Impact content creators, Genshin Impact players are going to hold on to. Once again, lose the strength to just stop playing a game they don't fucking enjoy. And it's just not going to be good. And that is my daily Doom posting of this thing that everybody wants to be excited for. But let's just bring us down to reality. Guys, it's Genshin Impact we're talking about here. Okay, they're about as compelling and innovative as a paper fucking bag. It's not going to get better. This will not be the change that fixes the game. And let's be real. The content itself isn't going to give Endgame at all. So, anyways, proverbial wet blanket here. Let me know what you think. Am I being way too overly critical? Or what did you think about this super epic content that's going to come out and save the game? Anyways, I'm done. Fuck, this game pisses me off so much, it's insane. Saw that shit immediately, and the hype beasting started. Hype beasting started immediately, bro. Ever seen American Beauty? That plastic bag was pretty beautiful. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Are you pulling Arlecchino? No, probably not. I mean, there's just, there's just like no reason. The only reason why I would pull for Arlecchino is to do a YouTube video. That's it. Like, that is legit it. But like, me personally, I just, what's the, what's the point? What, what am I going to use her for? You know? Like, le what, legit, what am I going to... Dude, I pulled a C6 Nuvulette. I used him one time. Now, let's see. Did did the YouTube video do well? Nuvulette. Tech Town. To be fair, it got 276,000 views. 
But to be fair, 276,000 views on Nubulet. But that was five months ago. Was it really worth it? I spent around two grand. I spent around I spent around two grand. Uh we will back. Yeah, I spent around two grand to pull Nervulet. Did it make me two grand? No, it only made me one point one. So I'm still out nine hundred fucking dollars, right? It did give me eight hundred subs though. Very pog. Very epic, very cool. But yeah, I mean I don't think it's worth it by any means, to be honest. Can't really complain tech them. We are not the target. Uh we are not the target audience. It's like fantasy is not a relation when you're crushed, that won't be a reality. No, but the problem is it just really annoys me how the company feels so comfortable at merely releasing a concept rather than showing anything because they know if they show it, then people will actually know oh, this thing is gonna be fucking shit. And that's why you shouldn't be excited. But they're they're intentionally not showing anything. Uh, which, which annoys me. It does really, really, really annoy me personally. Bro, where's the best part, bro? Where the fuck is that bitch getting impaled, bro? What? They just skipped out on that? Bro, come on, man. Wait, you see what happened with Seer? No, I didn't see this. Okay, great. So, slam dunk the baby on the ground and say, abortion speed run, now about that Dune 2. <laughs> Do it. Abortion speed run. <laughs> Now about that dude too. That was a baby. You'll never be able to make one of those in your entire life. Shit, my controller. I'm so shaken up. I don't even know what to say. Uh, the worms are a metaphor for camels. Uh, dude, Todd needs to fix his fucking shit, bro. Because I don't even think this is a tech issue on, at this end. Because my controller is connected. What the fuck is that? Is is this? Is this supposed to be an AI generated stream? Uh, uh, literal VG baby? Yeah, it looks good. IRL Ready Player One? Yeah, it looks really good, man. Everything Now show? How did they get how did they get Seer on that? That's insane. Dude, imagine innovating. That's what Seer most feels that's what most Seer. Uh, God, God, you didn't see that. Uh -uh. You didn't 
see that? Uh, all right. Uh. Anyways. 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 Uh, yeah, I don't know what's been going on, but I heard that uh, Pokey and Gotcha Smack got into a pretty serious issue. Apparently, Gotcha Smack fucked Mr. Pokey's wife, and we got to get to the bottom of it, man. Let's see what happened on the internet and see Mr. Chokey getting on the internet to tell me again that I'm wrong about something. The first time he said that I was wrong about Ron May and well he took a fat L on his head that time didn't he? Because quite frankly uh, there has been a lack of understanding with regards to how each support function in different teams and at worst spreading misinformation and overhyping a specific unit. Ron May's way higher. She's way higher than Branya. She's way higher than everyone. That's completely kept. Ron May? She's not the Omega Giga Power Creep. She's not power creeping the Hyper Carry Team Comps. I can say that with absolute confidence right now, Hyper Carry Team Comps with Bronya as well as another support unit, they're still gonna be really, really fucking good. She is like the enabler to duo DPS comps. Now he's claiming- The problem is, is that Mr. Pokey's really fucking hot. And so people just believe what he says whenever he speaks in that beautiful accent that he has. You know, like it's when he's making love to you and he says, I genuinely, respectfully want to impregnate you. And people say, oh my God, ada ada, yes, of course, Mr. Pokey Chan. Right? Like they love that shit. Uh, I'll be real. I really don't think that Mr. Pokey took that big of an L from that take. I really don't. I agree that Ruan May was very good. I do agree that Ruan May is better than Bronya, but I really don't think it's that much, right? I really don't think it's the Omega power creep, and that's what Mr. Pokey was arguing with his own words, not mine. It's, she's, Ruan May is better than Bronya, but not by much, you know? By probably about 10%, not anything crazy. Claiming that I'm... I, I feel like this is really a... I really feel like this is a, a they're both right scenario. My opinion. Wrong about saying the Branya spark. And guys, oh, dude, I have them both. Okay? I have them both. I use them both. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how your account is that different than than mine, but let, let's just let's just keep it a buck here real quick, okay? Let's just keep it. Let's pull up the old tier list. Okay? Uh, okay, let's just look at this shit. Okay, Sparkle, Ruan, May, S plus tier. Bronya, Silver Wolf, S tier. It's really not that much. It's really, it's really not by that much. Right? They're like 10%, 15% higher. Okay? It is though? Okay, well then prove by that it's by that much. Using Pridwin as proof? Okay. So I can't use my experience with it. I can't use my account with it. I can't use Pridwin with it. Then what should I use? Should I pull out a fucking sundial and commune to the fucking gods to get an opinion? Like, what do you want me to say? Ants already told me May would be uh, her own tier if they added another tier, Lamau. Uh, I don't know, man. I use them both. I feel like they're pretty similar, for, for me at least. And at the end of the day, let's just be real, guys. You can clear all content with both of them. I really don't think it's the Omega Giga Power Group because they're also just in completely different roles. I want to use Ruan Maze for a different comp than I want to use my Bronya for, but that's just my opinion. Sparkle comp is overhyped and incredibly mid. Now I'm wrong about this. And his rebuttal to this, the argument he provided, has got to be the most out-of-touch argument I've heard, I think, in, in the entirety of Honkai Star Rail since its release date. Brother essentially TLDR said, this comp is actually insanely broken. All you need for it to function optimally, quote unquote, optimally, all you need is to donate a kidney. Speed tune your sparkle in Branya to where they're moving faster than the speed of light, creating time remnants so that you could go back into time and say, what the f was I thinking? Putting all that investment into this composition just for it to perform on the same level as several other compositions that don't require as nearly as much investment. These what did he do? Was he saying like, just get 160 speed forehead? Cause that shit's hard as fuck. I hate when content creators just tell me get 161 speed. That shit is impossible. She supports 175. Get 175. Can, does it go that high? Wait, no, you're no, you're trolling. There's no way he said that. There's no way. Hold up. They can be a E zero, A zero, like none of the idolers, none of the signature icon mean a single damn thing. Right? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, guys, listen, none of my pay to win attributes that I have, that, that doesn't matter. It's not going to affect the run in any way. He won Ron May, ignoring 20% of everyone's defense. You know, her signature light cone, giving 10 energy to the party on each cycle, enabling you to get up ults faster, potentially one turn ult with people. That doesn't matter. Like, signature light cone from Branya at S5, 45% damage bonus given to Blade. It's, it doesn't affect the run at all. In fact, you can just take off all the light cones. It's not going to make a difference, you know? I'm not going to take them off, but, you, you know, I'm just you get what i mean you don't really need them you, you don't really need like uh, branya's e1 that's gonna potentially save myself some skill points on the skill point greedy comp to potentially prevent me from running out of skill points even though i probably still ran out of skill points you, you know you don't need that either zan's done copies like you have seen from a previous speed guide or some kind of four piece ego set how the fuck 174 speed 174 speed? How the fuck am I gonna get that? What the fuck is that? A four-piece ego set to ensure that we can keep this upright. It's relatable. Let's keep it relatable, all right? Just one S5 DDD and 174 speed Branya. Yeah, keep it relatable. I'm just going to be going ahead and showing you guys this variation where you only need one dance, dance, dance to keep it a little bit more relatable. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it, dude. I, I really needed that. But Rame herself, it doesn't really matter, right? She just needs to be there to provide this 10% speed. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Rame doesn't really matter, okay? Listen, her 75,000k break effects when you break shields, with your DPS. Yeah, that doesn't really matter, okay? Her all type res penetration, multiplicative damage bonus, doesn't really Guys, I can't tell. Is 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 Gotcha's Mag being sarcastic? I I can't I can't tell if he's telling a joke or not. Can somebody let me know? Sorry, I'm neurodivergent. Can somebody explain to me? I don't really get sarcasm too much. Really matter the 68% damage bonus she gives, that doesn't matter. Delaying enemies so that you can't take damage. None of that matters. Just her 10% speed damage bonus. Okay, that's the only thing that matters. I will notice my Bronya is Baku. That's quite big. Impressive. These are the real highlighters of this showcase. This is what you really need. 175 speed. <laughs> Wait. You need two units to have 175 speed? How is that? I can't even get one to 163. What would you even need for that? There's only 25 on the boots. My characters have 101 speed. We're at 126. Where the fuck am I going to get my other 50? Does that mean I'm going to need a plus 8 on every piece? How do, Can you even do that? 10 roll on every piece. 10 subs on every piece. Bro. Pokey Major Sparkle 175, by the way. No, he did not. <laughs> higher stats, guys. That's what you need. High, high stats. 175 speed Sparkle, 174 speed Brian. Uh, and I Wait, log in? Pokey made my Sparkle 175 speed. He bricked your account? Nah, you're trolling. There's no way. You're telling me if I go over... Ron May at 162 is really good. Kafka at 155 is really good. I still have all my shit. I still have all my shit. Why is my trailblazer being used? I don't like that. Fu Xuan... At 7k speed, seems pretty good. We're at 119 speed, that's probably okay. My sparkle? You lying fat fuck! 
You said 175 speed sparkle. Just lying for no reason. Lying, lying for legit no reason other than just for fun. Like, does that, dude, do you know how excited I was? Like, dude, just, dude, what is even the point? What is, dude, what is even, what is even the point of just, God, you guys are, you fucking motherfucker, bro. You fucking, you fuckers, you, fu whatever, fuck it, let's continue on with the video. I have completely forsaken my crew damage. Ooh, that's kind of small. Damage control. It is. That's what we call that. That's uh, let's make the the investment conditions that are extremely high. Let's bring down the damage control of that by saying oh, you just forsake crit damage. Just don't worry about crit damage. You used to be able to do it, right? Surely, surely you guys can do it now, right? Bro really got on the internet, looked the camera dead in the eyes, and said, "All you really need is just 175 speed sparkle." In okay, can we do that? Can we can we officially can we imitate Pokey's voice? I was under the impression that that was racist. Is that is that fine now? Have we gotten to the era where I can say genuinely, respectfully, I disagree. Genuinely, respectfully, get two million speed and then you can beat it in two cycle. Can we do that? Oh, but you're white, so it's racist. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what can I say? I'm a sparkle man. What can I say? 174 speed Branya and then you gotcha smack his this day. He is playing it sub up. <laughs> Bro really got on the internet and told y'all that all you need is an average of 10 speed on every single relic piece you have outside of the speed boot. So you need to have 10 speed on every other relic piece outside of the speed boot on your sparkle and 10 speed on every single relic piece outside of the speed boot on your Branya. He really sat here, looked the camera dead in the eyes and said, this comp is insane, bro. You just need 175 speed on Sparkle and 174 speed on Branya. First of all, let alone telling somebody to put 175 speed on a character with 101 base speed who has zero speed enhancements in their traces, in their kit functionality, no speed enhancement. They're not like Ting Yun who gives herself a 20% speed boost. They're not like Hanya who gives herself a 20% speed boost. No, 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 no. The these characters get no speed enhancements from their kit okay all right let's think about this mathematically okay let's 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 double check this okay so let's say hanabi has or sparkles speed of 101 we give her the speed set so that brings her to 107 okay and then and then we give her the speed boots which bring you to 132 okay so now we can't have the boot. So five, two, three, four, five. We have five to get to 175. So to get there, we need 43. So calculator, 43 divided by five. You need an average of 8.6. You need an average of 8.6 substats on each one of your piece. Ruan May too. Well, I don't think that you're going to run the team of Sparkle, Ruan May, and Hanabi. I don't think you're going to run that. It's 6%. Yeah, I know. 6% of base stat. So you get six more, right? Right? It's that easy. Uh, yeah, so you need 8.6. You need to run... Wait, it's Ruan May, Bronya, and Sparkle? And Blade? Okay. All right. Okay. Is this a guide or is this a showcase? Because I'll be real. I really feel like this is not a guide. I really feel like this is a showcase. So he's essentially telling you to strike lightning twice and then strike it again right next to the lightning for it to, uh, to function optimally. And then he has the audacity to say, wait, that's not it. You also need S5 dance, 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 and you need Ron May. <laughs> And then it's insane, bro. <laughs> what a surprise, guys. It's actually a strong comp after you've donated the kidney and liver and created time remnants with your harmony characters. I would argue any comp would be insane after all that investment. Brother got on the internet and told me that I have a skill issue for not having the same investment. If I And you know what? He's right. Still ain't zero cycling with this comp, bro. It's skill issue. Okay, because this is MOC 11, right? There's no world you can't zero cycle with this comp. 100%. But you do need dance, dance, dance. Pokey, that's not a skill issue. That's a 
investment that's a max refresh seven days a week that's a i spent money to get better issue i'm not the one with the e2 dhil that's you my guy i'm not the one with the e2 ron may and her signature light cone that's you my guy my investment in the builds that i present to my community my target audience is the vast majority of honkai star rail players all right now i want to i'm gonna keep it a buck pretty sure that's a joke let me go back let me go back Yo let me go back let me go back let, let me listen to mr poking bro it's skill issue okay because this is moc 11 right there's no world you can't zero cycle this code 100 but that's not a joke oh he's serious <laughs> What a dumbass. That is so funny. Dude, dude, the skill issue shit in gotcha games. Good God, that shit is so irritating. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. My bad I haven't spent $10 million. Like, do you know what I should do? I should just drop two grand on the account, still lie, say that I'm free to play, and then everybody will just come over how good my account is. You know what I mean? Because now I go live on my free to play account. Everybody tells me how fucking dog shit I am. When in reality, it's like, guys, guys, I've spent zero dollars on the fucking game. Like, are we, are we really, are we really going to pretend? In the builds that I present to my community, my target audience is the vast majority of Honkai Star Rail players. Your target audience is the elitists, which is the people who are backing you on this argument right now. I would argue that if elitists are supporting your argument, you probably need to take a step back, get a paradigm shift. Go create a free to play account. Get that paradigm shift and remind yourself right now, you're more out of touch than Hassan, brother, <laughs> right? You well, I mean, let's not bring Hassan into this. You know what I mean? Because if you watch the full context of the clip, he doesn't say that streaming is the hardest job. She just says he just says that it's socially draining, right? So let's just make sure we have all the facts here, right? Let's make sure we have all the facts here. Okay. Now I want I want to go further here. I agree, Mr. Pokey's very out of touch, one million percent. That's the charm of him, right? He he thinks that the E2 Dill doesn't make that big of a difference. The light cones don't make that big of a difference. Oh, Hunter, he's a little bit out of it. That's okay. He's my son. He's he's a he's a youth. He's a youngster. He's making a name for himself by just blatantly lying to people. It's good. He's just like me. It's great. And you know what? I really feel like we should celebrate that. I really feel like, you know, is it really that bad? I feel like delusional people are funny on the internet, my opinion. You out of touch. This shit is com entirely relatable. I would argue maybe half the people that went to your video and watched that probably saw that 175 and 174 speed bill and said, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Whereas with me, on the other hand, here's how I here's how I create my content. I say, what is the midline? Where's the line? Where's the middle? Right. You have free to play players who are also debatably out of touch. You have whales and dolphins. They're also out of touch. Then you have the middle, right? These are the $5 a month spenders. These are yep. the $15 a month spenders. These are the battle pass and monthly login spenders and people who occasionally spend some money here and there because they want a character or a light con. Yep. That's the middle. When I make yep. my content, I try to stay as close to that middle line as I possibly can because I understand once I start spending more money, once I start doing all these max refreshes, I can never go back to that middle line. My now comprehension of this game. You know what's crazy? People were saying that this drama was pretty lighthearted. This is not lighthearted. This is actually pretty serious shit. Now, it's delivered in a goofy way, but this is going after people's content 100%. It is, it is saying your content's out of fucking touch. You can, you can dismiss it as bad, but this is pretty serious shit. It is whose content is the best for the guide makers. I, I don't know, guys. I think it's goofy and funny. I think it's goofy and funny because of the background track. But, uh, I mean, it's it's pretty serious claims. You know what I mean? Is permanently up here with dolphins and whales. And what happens is I start talking to y'all about things that are completely unrelated. Now, they're homies. So they're both taking it on the shoulder. But I feel like if these two, if this same drama happened between two people who didn't have that rapport, who didn't have that uh, dialogue, that I do feel like this would, this would escalate, but I don't think it will. I start talking to y'all about like, yeah, bro, you, what do you, what do you mean you don't have 10 speed on all, a catalog of 10 speed substats? I feel like if you're asking a free to play player to go above 160 speed on a character, let alone multiple, you're just an idiot. Like, 
I might be able to get one character to 160. More than that, no, there's just no fucking way, bro. There's just no way. It's just sitting in your relic piece. What, what What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? Yeah, I took out a small loan of a million dollars. That would you sound like right now, little bro. You took out a small loan of a million dollars. It's not that hard, guys. Listen, bro, just take out. Pokey literally did it on your sparkle, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? And think about it. This is an account that's been grinded every single day for a year and two months. Like, nobody else is going to be playing the way that I play it a small loan of a million dollars <laughs> my guy said listen brother get higher stats and they'll do better all right get a 300 crit damage hasn't hasn't has honkai star not been out for a year yeah go, oh oh shit oh my bad guys 11 months sorry i uh, sorry sorry guys 11 months guys uh, crazy crazy misinformation i just put out sorry 11 months oh man my credibility it's gone it's all gone dude damn jing yuan instead of a 225 crit damage jing yuan and he's gonna deal more damage wow what a surprise bro now i'm gonna dial it back i think i've made my point with regards to the absurdity of of this of this argument what i'm gonna tell you here is that nobody 99.9 .9 of the people in our community are never gonna have 175 speed sparkle or branya it's just not going to happen and you can't try to do damage control by saying just forsake all the crit it doesn't matter if you tell them for, to forsake they haven't refreshed they haven't put as much money into their account as you have so nobody's going to have that e i mean let's think here all right so let's let's go into a calculator here all right, so to get 10 speed, let's just see Gajas Max argument, 10 speed, okay? This would mean that you would need a speed roll. Baseline would be two or three. Can a, can a speed relic be three at base? And then each roll can be two to three more, right? So we need, we need three rolls, Three rolls on speed. No. Okay, max 2.6. Okay. So we need three rolls minimum. We need three rolls minimum uh, on these here relics. Okay? All right? So we need three. So to get those three, we have to, one, be one, two, three. And then if we have a four, then boom. And that can happen on the fourth, right? We'll need to hit one of these three times to do that that's a one and four okay one and four then a one in 16 and then it's a one in 64 chance of happening okay that's a one that's a one in 64 chance to get this speed so it's not crit rate crit damage where you can hit either right it's you need specifically you need specifically three rolls into speed it is very 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 low chance of happening okay the totality but every roll is always one and four yes but to get a one and four in a row three times like that's very 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 unlucky right if only subset rolls were weighted equally yeah true plus let's all be real if this has flat defense it's going in this five times right so this here is very 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 hard to do that's why getting a good crit rate to crit damage ratio is like fine to ask. It's still very hard, but it's 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 more fun because you have two options that you can hit. But asking for one specific stat is very hard to get to. Even if they forsake it, nobody just has ten substats. And sure, you might have one more chance if it was a three or a four roller. You might have you know two more chances if it was an eight. But who knows? Speed pieces lying around because my dude, what's this? Guys, 160 speed without speed boots. <laughs> now I just need the fence shoe, right? Now I just need the fence shoe, right? Yeah, guys. Yeah, let's relay the fuck. Yo, guys, join me in unfollowing OK Code. Because they don't go into the game and say, oh, let me get these 30 speed pieces that I have because everybody else is already built. And let me just start gambling. Roll, max. Oh, that's trash. Throw it away. All right, next one. Roll. Oh, look, we hit it. We finally hit it. It's a numbers game.
And this is the out of touch aspect that you have to remind yourself of. Nobody else is doing that shit. Vast majority of people are getting some average pieces and they're calling it a day. This is why when I make my content, I always say if you roll one on crit and one and roll one on crit damage and spread it across every single piece, this should be your crit value because that's average. That's the average thing that somebody can achieve. And they Makes even sense. give me shit for that. They even give me shit for saying just hit crit rate and crit damage just one time a piece. Like, dude, that's I can't do that, man. That's ridiculous. So, I, so imagine you telling them because that's a fifty percent chance of that occurring that every insane. time you do a roll. Imagine you telling them this, to hit. This is why. This is why I don't make guides anymore. Is because I'll make guides for a game that I've been playing for three years. Somebody will start two hours ago and say, "Have a four star weapon." All I have is a dull blade. Like, what? Like, are you retarded? Where the fuck am I going to get a four star? Bro, I barely have twos and threes. This is so ridiculous. It's like, okay, bro. Well, maybe play a little bit longer first. One stat, 25% chance, four times. Three if you're lucky, but four times, and then do that 10 more times on every single piece that's not a speed boot. You get what I'm trying to say here? It's unrelatable to a, a ridiculous degree. This is not just high investment. This is out of touch investment. Like this is pretty much something that's just not gonna happen for the vast majority of players. So when I get on the internet and say this shit is mid for four cycles, and then you get on the internet saying, oh, but you could do six cycles, just donate a kidney. That, that's not really a good argument. In fact, I would argue that it's even a worse argument because ultimately, Ultimately, when we play this game in the MOC format, you're gonna take one of those characters and put them on the other team. Let's keep in mind here, you didn't just take any three supports, you took the three supports, the most <laughs> broken supports in the entirety of the game. Yeah, what the fuck is the other team gonna look like? Low key, what well, they got like Sampo, Sampo, Pela, Asta, fucking Misha. That you always use on one team or the other and you tried to say, put them all on this one team. That shit is butchering everybody else's second half. If I pull this shit up right here and I say, okay, we're gonna run this. This guy's lightning. Okay, he's weak to a bunch of lightning. Let's throw Ting Yun, Jing Yuen, uh, Branya, I mean, not Branya, Fu Swan. And for this fourth slot, Sparkle, yep. right? Or for that, for that fourth slot, Ron May, right? Ron yep. May or Sparkle is 100% taking this fourth spot there's there's no doubt about it one yep. of them is gonna take that spot whichever one you choose you choose them right let's just say it's sparkle you take sparkle to take that fourth slot or ron May, whichever one you like this second half this is gonna be an imbibitor lune it can even be a blade it could even be a doctor ratio you, but you, whichever you could use, you're gonna you could use pela you could use pela but i would argue that pela would be much better for like a a, a jingli you comp and I do think Sparkle would just be better than Palo, 100%, obviously. Put a Ron May on that comp. Not even a goddamn debate about it, right? Dr. Ratio, Silver Wolf, and then boom, right here. If you really want to get sweaty, you throw in another buffer. But that's the reality of 99.99999% of people that are playing this game. Nobody is going to tell you to go and put Blade on one comp with Branya, Ron May, and Sparkle. It's just not gonna happen. And guess no, okay, so no, I do wanna say this. I really don't, I really don't think this was meant to be a guide. I think this was supposed to be, I'm assuming a zero cycle showcase, right? I feel like Pokey's not telling anybody to do this, right? I feel like Pokey is just talking shit, right? You know, getting into character on stream, saying, oh, it is a skill issue, guys. It is a skill issue. Gotcha smack should just get 90 million speed and then you can negative two cycle the stage one farm boss, right? I feel like nobody's telling you to do that personally. Guess what? If you take out the Ron May, which some of these dipshits are trying to tell you, oh, you, don't, you don't need Ron May. Yes, you fucking do. If you take out Ron May, who else are you going to put right here? Let's say you put a Lorcher right here. Well, now these two need even more speed or let's make it even more unrelatable. You need... S5 dance 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 on a sparkle and then you're not going to get rid of Branya's light cone on her for another dance 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 here's the other reality this if you don't have e1 Branya, lorcha will, will probably help you out here but if you don't have lorcha and you don't have e1 Branya, you're running out of skill points in fact 
in one of Pokey's videos, bro literally ran out of skill points, even though his E1 Branya procced her E1 passive, which saves a skill point twice. Bro still ran out of skill points. Unfortunately, I ran out of skill points here. So Branya couldn't go. With the Sparkle Branya Ron May comp. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's like all of this just to try and prove to you that the comp is good when it's not. It's like, bro, just take the L on that. It's not even a bad take. Me saying, yo, it's overhyped. You can just take out Sparkle and put in Pella, right? Or take out Branya. You can leave the Sparkle on the composition. And then, yeah, Sparkle with Pella. But like telling people to run all that on a Blade comp, just so what? So you can do a little more damage? So you can zero cycle in a game that- I mean, I'll be real. When you get every character to 175 speed, what comp wouldn't be good? You know? Like, it's like if you were to get a character to 100% crit rate and 900% crit damage, what character, what character wouldn't be good? Needs 10 cycles to clear it. Just, this is what I mean. You go down this rabbit hole of this hardcore mentality that just doesn't make sense. The reality of the situation is, it's not a matter of the comp being stronger. Cause I had, I saw the dumb fuck saying like, uh, like making this argument. It felt Pokey himself made the argument. Like my video was implying that the other comps were better. It's not that the other comps are better. It's that the other comps get the job done in almost an identical performance. You're, you're over here like nitpicking, counting pennies and shit. Like who cares? I'm a one cycle if I take one of these characters out and get way more value out of that character on my other composition on the other side. That's where the real argument is. It's like, I don't need all them people. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing that gotcha smack and Mr. Pokey need to hear. Bro, you have like 10 cycles. Why the fuck are you only doing it in one? Like genuinely, respectfully, you understand you have like 50 more cycles, brother. Like, what are you... <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who who gives a fuck about zero cycles, bro? Who cares? It is insane. It, it, it really is insane. You know, like, nobody's, nobody's trying to do this shit regardless. On my Blade comp, why? Why the hell would I do that? And then my other comps butchered with its with its uh, characters and availability. It just doesn't make much sense. You know what I mean? Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk to you all about is bro said I need to try a slow, a slow Ron May. He told me I need to try a slow Ron May. I would like to go back, I think almost two to three months ago to the person that who said it themselves that slow Ron May is the best. You, but you ain't putting me on game. I've been said this shit. Just like the nerds in the comment section that said I don't understand action value. I was one of the very first people to cover action value in this community you actually know who the first person to say slow rod may is going to be op because to me if my buff is only going to last two of my turns then i don't want those turns to come quick so obviously slow ruan may is busted but you know is anybody going to acknowledge that no because it's an uncomfortable truth because it makes me look good and god forbid God forbid somebody give me the recognition that I fucking deserve. God for fucking bid, man. Ridiculous. Me and Grimro were one of the first creators to even put people on game with how action value works. I know all about this shit. I just don't go and say, oh, you can do this. Just donate a kidney and liver. I don't ever do that. I don't even think about that because I'm like, yeah, nobody's going to achieve that. But let's go. Uh, well, Mr. Schmack, what about your crit kill build, you know? What about your crit kill build, Mr. Schmack? So, what do you mean by that? Yeah, just get a, just get a 7140 on crit kill. I remember that. I remember, Schmack, you evil man. Go ahead and, you know, go down memory lane here real quick. Rogue, zoom in on how long ago I said this shit. Two months ago. Let's go ahead and play this. With a, uh... A, a non-speed boot because we just want her to go first so that she could pop her ult and then we never want to use her ult again we want full up time on the first ult and that's it because it's a zero cycle so if you do everything correctly she's going to pop her ult give the whole party the damage bonus the all type res penetration the defensive shred and then that's it she's off she's gone no never worry about rob may again and, but in order to do that you got to run sprightly von whack and have her speed low enough which is 120 100 223 somewhere around there low enough to go first and then never go again mm. imagine that imagine imagine thinking you actually put your boy on game that's tough bro <laughs> that, that's tough
Anyways, I think we get the point here. Gotcha Smack is right as usual. This comp is insanely overhyped. If you want it to be good, yeah, just donate a kidney, some liver, and go, go create a couple time remnants with your incredibly speedy supports. No speed tune. You guys can continue convincing yourselves this comp is good, but it's actually hot trash considering the cost to performance. I don't know, man. I feel like Arlon's pretty good. Just get uh, 50k HP and then get 200% uh, crit rate and 10 million percent crit damage. I swear to God, bro. I like three cycle. I like three cycle MOC with that, dude. So, yeah. Yeah, just get, just get a million. Pokey reaction, by the way. Mr. Pokey doubles down. Hey, guys. Mr. Po- 200 dislikes? This is real drama. This is real drama, guys. This is real drama. Both of you fail to see each other's points. Grandpa's max points for the average player playing this team is mid, since it takes so much relic investment in order to work. Meanwhile, Pokey's point in the video is that it's good if you have the resources to make the teams work. And here's how you do it. Now, both of you should kiss. Uh, no. Uh, this is real drama, guys. This is real drama. They're both attacking each other's uh, channels. And uh, I'll be real. Now you can only watch one of them, so pick. Uh, you you're going to have to pick which one you watch now because uh, these two hate each other. Uh, yeah, so feel free to subscribe to me, and uh, I'll get to the bottom of this. But uh, yeah, guys, so here's the here's the two points. Uh, if you have a million crit damage, the characters work. And then here's the other one. If you don't have a million crit damage, it's fine. Just don't run stupid comps. Uh, and that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, good video. It's good to see creators at each other's throats. And uh, guys, I mean, man, these Honkai Star Rail creators just cause so much drama. You know, uh, they should really be more like Tectone. Because he's just way more wholesome and he doesn't cause any issues in this community. So I'm going to go like, comment, and subscribe to him right now because he stays away from all that nasty, nasty, nasty drama. Anyways, bye-bye. Fucking so dumb. I love drama that's like that. You know, like 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 little, little, little silly drama like there that's good. There are very few things in the world that... I bet you this video is about pedophiles. Yeah, I'll be real, man. Uh, I, I really don't feel like going through another pedophile video where people defend how they want to fuck Nahida. Uh, yeah, I don't really... It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, I'll be real, guys. Why why are we trying to... Why are we trying to rationalize irrational people's behavior? Okay, guys? I mean, these people like to fuck children, bro. You think they're going to go on YouTube video and think, oh, shit, he's right. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I like, like, they're just... They're simply, they're simply not going to do that. What's this? The U.S. House of Representatives is set to vote on banning TikTok tomorrow. Remember, they're only doing this because they want to be the ones to sell your data. Out of all the things to focus on right now, this isn't even top 100. This isn't even top 1,000. Dude, dude, if I have to go to YouTube Shorts to get my memes... I'm gonna be so fucking annoyed, bro. YouTube Shorts is so fucking dog shit. How did they get? How did they get Seer on that? I get mad at my viewers. That's insane, dude. Imagine innovating. That's what Seer most feels. That's what most drink Seer. God, God, God! You didn't say that. Bro, that is a full brain shutdown moment. Dude, imagine innovating. That's what Seer most feels. That's what most drink. Seer. <sighs> that is so pain. God, 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 you didn't say that. <laughs> uh, it's actually funny as fuck, bro. I love that shit, bro. Holy fuck. This song goes well with anything. Which one? <laughs>
I would hardly say that Bing Bang Born goes with everything. And uh, I would like to prove my point real quick. I would I would like to prove my point real quick. Uh, let's look up. Okay, maybe it does work. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it does. Yeah, if TikTok's banned tomorrow, lol. Who gives a fuck? Genuinely, genuinely, respectfully, who gives a fuck? They got him again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate have been arrested again by Romanian authorities under UK warrant. They were arrested for sexual misconduct and separate case from 2012-2015. Here we go. But like, uh... so like, what? Why are they getting arrested? Is it because of the Matrix? <laughs> That makes me so angry. Bro did not know. Bro, bro did not know. Are you going to stream the HSR 2.1 live stream? When is that? Trailblazers, the Honkai Star Rail into the yawning chasm. So we're going to be released March 16th. Yeah. Yeah, I'll wake up early. God damn. That's a fine fucking woman, boys. That is a fine... Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, we'll stream it. Why the fuck not? Why wouldn't I? You know, why wouldn't I? Check this. Check what? Yeah, personalities? Am I... The Honkai Star Rail Content Grid of Tearless Part 1. Oh, God. This sounds... This sounds brutal. Hold up. Yeah, let's uh let's click on let's the video watch. for the right reason. I'm gonna be honest, Knowles, I don't give a shit what your name is. Get to the is this a fucking PowerPoint presentation? Okay. Also, 26 minutes long! What the fuck? I'ma put Knowles above Tectone. The fuck is that? the fuck is that I wonder I wonder what the I wonder what the comments are saying I am curious amazing timing on this video given what happened recently I know fun fact this video crashing times we all know the number one Hunkai recorder and his name is Katz. No idea. Nuclear drama changes everything. CCs can learn what you say. That's some good advice only for them, but for anyone who wants to start on this business. Wait, there was good advice given to me? All right, let's see. Let's hear Let's hear why. Let's hear why. 
Why am I C tier, guys? Let's get it out of the way. Hey, creators. Let's talk Tecton. You know, I think a lot of people are probably wondering where I'm going to put Tecton, and I'm going to... I'm gonna just go ahead and put them there. Tectone has less problems, fucking algorithm-wise, than Imtash, but there is one issue that I do take with him, and that is I don't fucking care about your reaction videos! I don't care! So, anyway, I think they suck, I think they're lazy, I think that you could be doing so much more. I've actually told Tectone this before. The motherfucker's at his best when he stops complaining about Genshin Impact and starts actually talking about something he cares about. I don't watch <sighs> videos so I can see somebody react to another person's videos. I watch videos so I can actually see a creator I give a fuck about, and Tectone is just not that. Literally, just just for that, I'm knocking him down to see. He's the funny, fat, angry, bald man. But like at the same time, dude, you have a colorful personality. Let's put it like that. And yet you choose to not use it. Instead, opting to watch reaction videos all day. And like, I just don't fucking care. C tier. And anybody else who makes reaction videos is also going to C tier. Fuck them. Alright, so here's where we start getting to like a bunch of B tiers. Gotcha smack. Let's start off. Yeah, so apparently some guy made a video called The Seven Deadly Sins as Genshin Impact YouTubers. Let's watch this shit real quick. Lust, greed, gluttony, envy, and wrath. These are known as the seven deadly sins, and you'll find a lot of them in your day-to-day -day life. Today, let's <laughs> talk is, about- Why does bro sound like the Burger King foot fungus guy? The seven deadly sins as Genshin Impact content- There's also an eighth sin, being a fucking mint picker. And creators. Alright, disclaimer, I have nothing against any content creator brought up in this video, nor- I have everything against every content creator in this video. Is this slander content? Let me phrase that even more. Everything I'm about to say for the next 10 minutes will be slander. I hate all of these people. Uh, yeah, I don't like any of them. I hate all of them. Unless you're extremely sensitive and receive it negatively. And speaking of extremely sensitive, let's start with the sin of pride. <laughs> The chronically online, extremely insensitive slime. It's like a fucking rap song, brother. Let's hear what he has to say. Enviosity is one of Genshin Impact's most well-known creators, amassing over 450,000 subscribers on YouTube and over 800,000 followers on Twitch. I love how people were saying that uh, when me and Envy had issues, uh, I was bullying a smaller content creator, even though we have the exact same size of follow count. Like, where, where the fuck are these people getting that Envy's a small content creator? Like, I mean, he used to be big. Like, what the fuck are these people on about, man? ...doesn't followers on Twitch. Pride is known as an overinflated or excessive view of oneself, putting yourself on a pedestal or glazing your own self-importance to an extreme level. Which is crazy, because I thought I would have got that one. And I can tell that I'm the son of pride because I'm upset that I didn't get pride. I, I feel like Envy's not the sin of pride. I feel like he's just a bitch, right? Like, bro, how the fuck did he get the pride? That's the cool one. What did I get? Pride could be considered a form of delusion or extreme selfishness. Enviosity takes a lot of pride in his ability to be a content creator that remained free to play in a sense. Because he's the only motherfucker who should be getting praised. Oh my god. Okay, so then I gotta be wrath then, right? I gotta be wrath. Heading where others do not. But he was also his own devil's advocate. Not only did he pride himself on not spending money, but he exhibits arrogance in making sure that everyone knows he's a free-to-play performing at a high level and claiming that he should be the only one receiving any praise for doing so. I should be the only mother getting praised. <laughs> Oh, the crazy thing is, it's such a cool line, right? The, it, the, the, I am the uh, I am the only motherfucker who should be getting praised in this community. But the problem is, he sounds so soy. <laughs> he sounds so soy when he says it. It's like a little baby with a knife. It's insane, bro. Claiming that he should be the only one receiving any praise for doing so. I should be the only mother are getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. Money talks, all right? Money talks. 
be like me and stop spending money. It's crazy because he's not kidding. It's crazy because he's being real when he said that. That's not a joke. That's not a gimmick. That's him being a hundred percent. Like that shit is so fucking embarrassing. Like, holy shit, bro. That is one of the most embarrassing clips I've ever seen. And the worst thing is that's in context. That is a in context clip. <laughs> And then here's more. He blames me for him saying that because, oh, that wasn't me talking. That was Tectone talking, acting like I fucking Sekiro shadow puppet jutsu him to say that. Good God. That is so fucking embarrassing, bro. That is so fucking embarrassing. It's unbelievable. This clip will haunt him for the rest of his life because there's no additional context that you need for that clip. It's all there. It's all there. And trust me, I, I understand the damage that an out-of-context clip can get you, but eventually it'll come around. Every clip that I have that looks bad has context to make it fine. This one, there's no context to ever justify it. It is the most cringe, soy take I've ever seen a gotcha creator say. It's insane. For enviosity, it's less about being a great free-to-play content creator and more about the praise and attention he receives for playing in that uh -huh. unconventional manner. Enviosity may have turned his pride into a shtick, and he may have worked hard to get to that point, but the same can't be said about Wait. pride into a shtick, and he may have... 8,694 slimes? What? Does he have that many subs? When did he ever have that many subs? He has 700 now? He has 800? Wait, what the fuck? I've never seen Envy have this many subs before. This was during the peak of his subathon? Oh, okay. Yeah, last time I saw him, he was at like six, seven hundred subs. I've worked hard to get to that point, but the same can't be said about this next content creator who embodies the sin of sloth. Who the fuck the is Adore this? The or Venti's new butler skin is a content creator that's cracked 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. Who? And in the content creation scene, they fit the sin of sloth well. The channel is fairly inactive now, and while it's likely unrelated, you could still attribute that to sloth. Sloth could be considered the most grave form of laziness, desiring the easy life, wanting others to do things for you, or to an extreme level, taking no accountability. Is it bad that I feel like a video like this could be made, but all seven sins are just on me? <laughs> Let's all be real. I feel like that's very scary because I can attribute every single one of these to me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm only human after all. Dude, oh no. The Adore 9's videos are more or less video style recaps of patch notes or other easily accessible information. In fact, the Adore 9's viewers are also likely suffering from the sin of sloth themselves. These videos are typically painfully exaggerated or clickbaity, doing no more than telling you what you probably already know, but telling it to you in a way that makes you think you didn't already know it. And sometimes oh, the content shit. isn't just clickbait, but it's also just wrong. And what's lazier than lazy oh, content made shit. by someone too lazy to check their own work? We're better paid five star? But laziness aside, there's one content creator who's far from, as their overbearing thirsting is second to none. To okay, to what you guys will call a masturbation addiction, I call taking matters into my own hands. Oh, God. All right, let's just hear it, bro. Tectone is a content creator with close to 2 million followers on both Twitch and YouTube. He's known across the gacha game scene and more specifically the Genshin Impact community as unfiltered, argumentative, and a dickhead. But a <laughs> I take that last one with pride, to be honest. I like that shit. I don't know. It's good. It's good. It's good when people come to my stream and they know what they're going to get. I don't want anybody to think they're going to get some nice, wholesome motherfucker when they come in and then some piece of shit in chat's being fucking annoying. So I'm running them down. I'm running them down, right? Who are these people? Oh, yo, Pink looks good here. He looks great here. Where'd that sweater go? I haven't seen that in forever. That's Lauren, too. I know these women. Wait, why you pull up lust for the fucking video footage of me having two women in my room? What are you doing? 
A big thing Tectone is also known for is being a coomer. Lust can be defined as a deep longing and desire for something, and it can also be defined as an overwhelming longing for sexual pleasure. Genshin Impact is a waifu slash husbando collecting simulator, and Tectone has proven himself on multiple occasions to see nothing past the physical realm. Because what? Because what? I mean, what, dude? What's wrong with that? I, I pull for characters because they're hot. What's wrong with that? I like that. Eula has big ass. Bro, bro, some of the most popular Genshin Impact hentai videos are ones that I commissioned. You're welcome, by the way. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay? Dude, dude, there's even hentai coming out for Honkai Star Rail where the creators themselves talk to me to get a good plot. Okay? Uh, you're welcome. You'll see them soon. You're welcome. I'm actually in... I'm actually in several Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact uh, porn that people didn't notice because they were too busy looking at, I'm not going to say which characters are getting fucked, but the characters are getting fucked so they don't see the cameo of me in the background. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Good fucking God have mercy. Have you seen Eula's thighs? Okay, I mean this genuine question. Okay, full, okay, dropping the character. Is that not what everybody else thinks too? Like, when they see these characters, like, oh, they're so cute. Like, are people not just starting fucking jacking off immediately? I feel like that's what everybody thinks. Uh, that's what the point of these characters are. Am I nuts? His attraction to the characters of the game greatly overshadows every other aspect of it, and it's led him to making questionable comments and statements, as well as garnering him a lot of hate from the fans of the game. Hey, hey, I'll be real. If the Genshin Impact community doesn't like you, that's because you're doing something right. And I stand by that genuinely, respectfully. While it is fair to call a game higher to its full potential, some of the things aren't that big of issues, nor are they a necessity. And that is the sin of- <laughs> Yeah! Michael Test! Run him down, man! Greed. Greed is the desire and love for wealth or personal gain. It's an attachment to certain things, even if said things are a necessity. It's the state of always wanting more and never being satisfied. Yep, true. Mtash is a content creator with around 1.5 million followers combined on YouTube and Twitch. Yep. And while Mtash is on the more respected end of the community when compared to the others mentioned, he also has quite a lot of hate. I don't know about that, bro. I feel like everybody hates this motherfucker. To be honest, I feel like Mtash, hot take. I think Mtash is way more hated than I am. But, but, Mtash does desperately try to get in people's good books. I just fucking don't. I, I think I think Mtash is way more hated than me, for sure. Haters. Mtash is generally regarded as a hypocrite in the Genshin Impact community by his haters as he initially took the whale approach to the game where he spent a lot of money to maximize his account's potential. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but once Mtash got his fill of the whale content, he then went on to complain about the game being yep. money hungry while profiting off of the artificial problem with the game that he instigated himself. And once he left the whale account behind for a free to play account, the complaining and desire for more never stopped. But the sister sin of greed is gluttony, and Tenha fits that shoe. Gluttony being Tenha? Wait, I don't get this at all. Wait, what did he do? Tenha is a content creator that has amassed over 800,000 followers on YouTube and Twitch, and he's a fairly respectable person. However, Tenha is arguably one of the biggest consumers in the community. Gluttony is normally regarded as eating an excessive amount of food and drinks, or for less. Is it because he's a fat fuck? Lack of better word. Because he's a whale greediness, but gluttony could also just be considered an overconsumption of something. When people pull characters, they're typically pulling for one or two reasons, waifu or husbando, and meta. But Tenha is an oddity in the sense that he pulls characters just for the heck of it. There seems to be no art to his madness. In any character oh, that drops no, regardless of old or new whale, will be sought out by Tenha. Oh, no amount no. of constellations, eidolons, or in-game currency has ever been enough to satisfy Tenha, as he consumes everything the game throws at him and then anxiously <laughs> oh, awaits no. more. His YouTube channel even exhibits this with his countless wailing videos and ways to get even the smallest amount of currency in game. And despite having very clear regrets in doing so, Tenha continues to consume everything the game drops. While it would be possible to find a sole content creator that fits this role, I think there are just too many in this community. Plen Who the fuck is this?
Many of smaller content creators will envy what the larger ones possess and will choose to ride their coattails into the limelight. Envy is the longing and desire to have what someone else has. I thought envy was the mint picker. It trumps personal needs and it clouds judgment. Envy creates unjust jealousy, bitterness, resentment, and even potential maliciousness towards another. Whether that means stoking drama, Jesus white Christ, knight, bro, that, seeing that guy's face is a fucking jump scare to me, bro. Holy fuck, what the fuck is that? or sticking your neck out into situations that don't even involve you. Envy is probably the sin done most subconsciously, and it's also the sin in the community done most commonly. And it's not exclusive to small creators either, as the bigger ones do it as well. People will always want more. That's a fact that'll always remain. True. And so the entire community is the sin of envy. As for the final True. sin, we've got the sin of wrath. And it may make them wrathful, but I believe Asian Guy Stream fits the bill. Hey, boys. You want to know why? You want to know why Atsu is the sin of wrath? Because you can't spell wrath without fucking rat. <laughs> Perfect. Poetic justice, man. Good old Ratsu, bro. Let me phrase that. Piece of shit Ratsu. Just to make sure anybody doesn't get the sarcasm. Ratsu is a content creator with over 800,000 on Twitch and YouTube. Yep. Wrath can be defined simply as anger. Feelings of rage, hatred, or blind negativity. But most glaringly, Wrath is such a powerful sin that even once victory is achieved, the feeling doesn't go away for a wrathful person. And in that regard, I feel that Asian guy stream or Ratsu represents a blind hatred. He's a creator with a ton of pull in the grand scheme of things and he's a creator whose anger never subsides even after winning. Despite the feel good content uploaded, Atsu has a history of drama with some other creators. Of course, in previous years Atsu had come out on top, but the hatred and anger he felt never went away, as even now, years later, he still holds resentment towards those he had problems with in the past. Wait, hold up, hold up, let me, let's read what is this, what is this conversation? Uh -uh. Where'd you learn from? I said, where did you hear that I said chess respond? Has something I said, you remember where? I wonder where I would have said that to give you that impression because I've never thought that. No, I was being sarcastic. Oh, and in your comments, I was on record saying that. Maka S, are you sure they aren't memeing? Memeing is hard to tell over the internet with no emotions, emotion, emoticons, or hearing how people were saying it. That's a really good emote. What happened to our old Keck W? Wait, what happened to that emote? Do we still have that? Oh, the new one's better, though. Oh, the new one's better. Okay, the new one's better. The new one is so cute. The new one is so cute. Oh man, what happened to us, Atsu? We used to be such good friends. What happened, man? What happened? Such a truly sad story, bro. Such a truly sad story. But if there's things that you don't do on the internet, one of the biggest ones is don't go after someone's fucking marriage. You just don't do that, bro. It truly is weird, man. Truly is weird. Problems within the past. Such and you certainly don't go after their best friends either. Just weird. Anger has led him to developing an antagonistic outlook on others that effectively crushes their image because of how much swing he has in this community. Wrath leads to anger. Anger, delusion, and frustration, and I believe that Asian Guy Stream is now fully feeling the effects of wrath he refused to let go. Humility counters pride. Dil dude, dude, what a good fucking video! <laughs> what, what a good fucking video this is! Legends counters sloth. Chastity encounters lust. Charity counters greed. Yep. Kindness counters envy. Temperance counters gluttony, and patience counters wrath. These are the seven heavenly virtues, and perhaps a video I'll have to take a shot at in the future. Again, no shade to any content creator. Also, ignore the monotone speaking voice I was using throughout the video. I was testing something, alright? I'll link every content creator brought up in the description below. Bro, bro, blazing. Great fucking video, man. How many views does this have? Right. This only has 200 videos, or 200, uh, 200 views. We'll get this to 1,000. We'll, we'll, we'll make this video blow up 100%. That's a, that's a good fucking video, man. That's a great fucking video. And actually just like really fucking fun too. I feel like if you get ass hurt from that video, ass hurt from that video, you're just a pussy. My opinion. I feel, I feel like you're just straight up a pussy. Uh, let me go through all this real quick. Uh, I, I need to take away this video. Before somebody else does it. Oh, uh, let's pull it up. Hold up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. These are the seven heavenly ver Okay. Wait, no. I need, I need, I need every, I need every sin. Okay. Pride, that's me. Sloth. Okay. Pride is me because I'm the best creator on the platform. 
Uh, sloth is me because I only do lazy react videos. Lust is me because I can't stop jerking off. Uh, wrath is me because anybody who fucks me, I will never let go. Uh, envy is me because if I ever see... Well, hold up. Envy. Okay, envy's not me. Envy's not me. I, th I don't pick men. Uh, gluttony's me because I'm a fat fuck. Uh, and greed is me. Okay, greed's not me. These five, though. These five, we get those. These five, we own. These five, we we take we take full recognition for. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, greed and envy, though? No, 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 no. But the other five. The other, yeah, t yeah, exactly. The T for tech tone. Exactly. You're right. It's perfect. Apropos. Yo, Blaisin. Great video. Great fucking video, man. Go give him a like. Go give him a sub. And uh, appreciate you posting that shit, man. It's good. Uh, if anybody has an issue with that video, I will suplex them out of fucking window. That shit is so funny. MTash a Doom poster? Let's see. So I was on how you M Tashed is a Doom poster. M Tashed is a Doom poster. Ten minutes. Should we watch this? Should should we watch this? No? Oh man, that makes me want to watch it even more. Apparently this guy has a big issue with M Tashed. He's a doom poster. What? The guy who's quit everything in life a thousand times over? Let's see what this guy has to say. Lab the other day. And for those who don't know, HoYoLab is kind of like Reddit, but Hoyo versus Reddit. It is basically like a social media site of like people giving their opinions or something that they're excited for or like build stuff. But anyway, there was a post that I thought was really, really interesting and I want to talk about it. Sure. A YouTuber told me she's trash. I rolled anyway. Now I want C6. So this person is talking about Zhenyun and how, you know, this certain content creator trash talked her, but... I can't take this seriously. I really cannot take this seriously. Watch a very small clip about what M Tash was, you know, what he was talking about, okay. and what opinions he gave. Sure. And then you're buffing it up even more. You're getting extra crit rate. I get it. Cloud, Miss Namimer, is cool because maybe she's bringing some characters out of the vault. But is she better than the arena or Raiden or not this bull cutted idiot, Raiden or Yelon or Kazuha or I, I, I mean, there's a, it's right there. She's on the other banner. She's right there. Is she is she better than Nahida? She does something different. I get it. I know, I know, I know. But as someone who plays this game, and with new players that are always joining, who maybe aren't knowledgeable, I can't make a video and, and, and hype her up. I can't make a video and be like, oh my god, this character's crazy. Because at, at best, she's a niche upgrade for one team, and she's a side upgrade for a couple more at best, and a downgrade in others. I, I just cannot... In my right mind, tell people to get this character unless they just want to meme around and have some fun. If you do, is this considered doom posting? Do your thing. So I, I have to start the video with that. But honestly, I think she is just kind of trash. Now, so he gave. So as you can see, as M Tash gives his critical analysis, he's being too mean to Zhen Yun. In opinion, right? He, he's literally correct about the information he just said. And people can disagree. People can agree. But he gave a really good opinion of. If there was a free-to-play player, I would not recommend this character because there is an objectively better character they could get at the same time, depending on what kind of team you have, what kind of characters you have, what kind of account you have. And so I just, I, I, I'm a little annoyed because, yeah, he does say there are just objectively better characters. But when he is talking to a free-to-play player or he's talking to players that maybe just started the game, He's not going to recommend Jin Yun to them just because she's really. I can't watch this shit. Uh, anyways, cool. Great, man. Yeah, I can't watch that shit. That shit fucking I'm good. Now, I, I just can't. I just can't. It's just, it's too soy. Uh, you should watch this. <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't feel I don't feel like watching any more uh, gadget videos. I'm good, man. I'm good. I want to watch a couple other things. Because the thing that I'm really concerned about is I know a Western audience 
really enjoys and is looking forward to Wuthering Waves because a lot of the Western audiences does enjoy a more hardcore-based game. And China's opinion of it is that it needs to be a little bit less grindy, I believe. But the thing that I haven't heard anybody talk about is what Japan thinks. And the reason why it's important to know what Japan thinks is is because Japan spends a lot of fucking money. Gotcha games are like in their fucking bloodstream, man. So what, what does JP think about Wuthering Waves? thinks this or CN thinks that but what about the other superpower in the east yeah. I'm talking about North Korea Japan of course <laughs> I was interested <laughs> oh shit that caught me off guard jeez that was man North Korea jump scare holy fuck guys be careful I interested in what the JP players were saying about Wuthering Waves yep. so I set out to find out what they liked and what they didn't and everything else in between okay. but before we look into what they thought about the latest beta test first we have yep. to find out what they thought about CBT1 so I combed through as many videos in the YouTube archives and compiled a list of the main things that kept getting brought up both good and bad so in no particular order pro they loved the world lore such as tacit fields echoes and the generally dystopian vibe but in saying that con the story the tacit fields i heard were, re were widely regarded as a negative because the way they implemented them was piss poor so i'm, I'm curious what he means is they enjoyed the tacit field itself was difficult to understand and they couldn't follow along with what was being said <laughs> this is cbt1 <laughs> <laughs> More on that later. Pro. Okay. The parkour was smooth and interesting. They were particularly happy about running up walls. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it feels really, really, really fucking good. 100%. Oh, yeah. For because for a game that's about open world exploration, the exploration actually feels good, right? Like nobody wants to slowly climb up a wall and then run out of stamina and then fall down. Like it just makes it a miserable experience when you're like slowly uh, and you can't spam jump anymore because you don't have enough fucking stamina. So you gotta like uh, uh, take forty minutes to climb one fucking rock. It's so irritating. Come pick you. I will say the glider. I still think it's a little bit too slow. Con, the parkour was too smooth, in fact, and they ended up climbing walls they didn't intend to. Pro, they loved not having to worry about stamina when moving around the map. Con, they hated getting stuck under stuff when climbing buildings. I, I don't see any issue with that right there. Like, what the fuck were they expecting to do? Like, start climbing upside down? Like, what the fuck were they expecting to happen? Pro, they loved the character designs, particularly the female MC. This one guy said he just liked characters with boobs. <laughs> yep. I get it. The NPCs were completely expressionless. Yeah, I really feel like for these gacha games, they need to limit the amount of time that NPCs are on the screen due to the fact that one, they're not going to sell, so it's not going to make you any profit. Let And also, with the overwhelming roster that the game is going to have eventually, as all gacha games do, having more focus on the characters that we're going to get or have is way more important to develop because otherwise there's not going to be... like why, why are we wasting a time developing the characters that we do have uh, that will stay there on our roster versus characters that are going to go away the moment we leave the zone? It just makes no sense. Oh, overuse of NPCs is so fucking bad. But she has boobs though, so I guess that one guy doesn't mind. Pro. They like the size of the open world, the environment in general, and particularly the quality of the graphics. Yep. Con. They thought there wasn't enough variety of puzzles. Ah! I mean, I feel, and this is just another uh, very important take to have. I feel like the lack of variety in puzzles is fair, but in a, in coordinates to, or, or in opposition to their, their their competition, Genshin Impact, there is a lot more variety of puzzles than Genshin. So I feel like if it works for Genshin at their level, it'll also work for Wuthering Waves at this level. But this, once again, this is CBT1.
一度理解してしまうと単調に感じるものが多いので途中から作業感が強くなってきます Pro They liked the skill tree system and the customization and complexity it brings Con They thought all the weapons look alike Pro They said it's easy、yep. to pick up if you've played Genshin マジで原神やった人からすればこれ、yep. ね、こういうっちゃダメかもしれんけど原神2なんだよな、yeah, 操作すべてに何の違和感もない。What? You thought we'd、yeah. escape the Genshin comparisons just because it's JP? Con, dialogue has too much jargon. Yeah, no, fuck no. I mean, if people aren't comparing this shit to、uh, Genshin and Mech World, they're just fucking stupid, bro. Con, dialogue sounds unnatural. Con, can't read names because no furigana. This game was 1 million percent made to be a competitor for Genshin and Mech. 1 million percent. Con, when they could read it, the dialogue made no sense at all. Like it was playing telephone by running the text through Google Translate into one language, then another language, then another, and another until it lost all semblance of the original meaning. Con, if the dialogue was translated at all. Con, or if If there was even any dialogue in the first place. As you can see, it seems JP's biggest concern was the overcomplication of the story and severe localization issues. It is crazy because so many people give a fuck about the story being good, and like three years ago, four years ago, me, I would not get that at all. But now I understand that like story is very important because it's going to give players a reason to want to come back with the frequent updates of what's happening、uh, and the current plot. Because when the gameplay runs out, at least they'll be able to think, well, I still want to know what happens to this guy. I still want to know what happens when we go there, right? So I, I understand why they're spending so much effort on the story. Even though for me, I, I just fucking skip this shit and I play the fucking game. From what I saw, I think they had it a lot worse over there compared to the stuff I've seen in English release. So poor one out for them having to go through that. But we already knew all that. The devs even stepped up and said they rewrote 90% of the story because that's what most people are having issues with.、Yep. So what about CBT2? What's the verdict? Overall,、sure. they seem pretty happy with the results, but still have a few issues. Everything they originally liked in the first test, they are still happy with,、okay. such as the combat, ecosystems, etc. <laughs> But regarding the changes, they noticed that the cutscenes were considerably better and、yep. more interesting to watch. And、Good. while some people really liked the dark, dystopian aesthetic in CBT 1, I, I think the visual change was very, very, very good because otherwise I would just get very EP whenever I played CBT1. So I think this is a better change.、ね、They admit that the world being made a little brighter it makes exploration more fun and is probably more appealing to the majority of people. They also noticed that the crownless battle was considerably easier and that the skill animations look a little flashier. Yeah, I think the animations got a lot better, but also I think the impact、uh, got a little bit less. Like, the hits are less satisfying. At first, I wasn't aware of that until I heard a couple of my buddies bitch about it, and then I went and checked, and yeah, the hits are a lot less satisfying now. They're still satisfying enough, but they used to be better. One of the issues from CBT1 about getting stuck while climbing was addressed, and they really appreciated yep. it. Yep. It's so cool. And while they still like the female character design,、so、I saw、cool. several times people saying that they were glad that there are older characters such as Yuan Wu. They called him an Ike Oji, which is basically something along the lines of a hot older guy. Or in other words, a Dilf. A dad I'd like to th. <clears throat> But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, though. There are still plenty of localization issues, with some parts still completely in Chinese or just having a placeholder text. <laughs> And while what has been translated is a lot easier to understand and sounds much more natural compared to before, they still feel there is a little too much in terms of jargon, which they worry. I, I really wouldn't worry about localization too much. I just simply wouldn't do it. I, I feel like it's such an easy fix. It's going to be so much less time. And the other thing is, is that, like, you know, they're going to have to do it, right? For changes, a lot of the times, it's like, Oh man, like, I wonder if they're gonna add this. I wonder if they're gonna add endgame. Well, like, obviously, they're going to fuck. Or, well, we don't know if they're gonna add endgame, but like, are they gonna change the localization? Obviously, it's going to be fixed. Obviously, they're going to make it localized, right? There, there's no way for them to release the game without it being released. You know what I'm saying? Will turn people off. Reason being is that in comparison to English, if they can't read a kanji, they might have a general idea what the word means, but otherwise can only guess at how to read any particular word. <laughs> Many times I heard people saying that they wished it was voiced, both to add to the immersion of playing the game, but also because it would help to hear how words are supposed to be read. A minor thing I noticed is some people noting the lack of male characters in the beginning, especially if the player chose female rover. <laughs> I don't know about that one, dude. I feel like I feel like Wuthering Waves has so many fucking dudes, it's ridiculous. I feel like Wuthering Waves has more dudes. 
Like, I feel like the dude, I'm not gay. I could be. And honestly, I've considered it. Uh, uh, anyways, I feel like the dudes in Wuthering Waves look better than the women in Wuthering Waves. So I don't get this complaint at all, bro. Like, have you seen Calcharo? Like, bro is hot as fuck. I guess they wanted more DILFs. Okay, I alluded to this before, so let's address the elephant in the room. What does JP think? about Wuthering Waves in comparison to Genshin. Throughout all of these videos, it was hard to go two minutes without Genshin being brought up, either in the context of Wuthering yep. Waves looking too similar or Wuthering Waves being much better than Genshin. I think it's good that it looks similar to Genshin because it looks like Genshin but better when you're in the combat. Their words, not mine. This video here is all about how they feel Wuthering Waves might not take off because it's too similar to Genshin. They no. worry people wouldn't uh, be- It's the exact opposite. It will do well. God damn. Holy fuck. Interested to- Uh, anyways. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, it'll be good because the biggest advertisement Wuthering Waves has is the existence is the existence of Genshin Impact, right? Like, the best advertising to play Wuthering Waves is Genshin Impact's 4.6, 4.7 game state, right? Which is like, what, 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 guys, what is a Genshin Impact player going to do for the next 50 days? Genuine question. Genuine, what are they going to do? Just sit there, oh, I'll tell you what they're going to pick mint, right? So if this game releases when Genshin Impact is in a bad game state, which I'll be real, guys, is pretty fucking frequent, they're all going to go over there. It's going to be a good fucking time. And it, it, it is very good how similar the games are. To start something new if they look like they're essentially the same. But they don't mean that as an overt... It's like, for example, like, why do you think Mr. Beast comp like constantly compares himself to Hershey's? Because it's a big game, everybody gets Hershey's, and they're like, oh, I like Hershey's, but they say this is better? Okay, I'll try that. Oh my god, it's better. Right? Free conversion rate right there. And then once they get their own identity, then they can just drop that whole shit. Criticism. They state multiple times that they prefer Wuthering Waves, just that they are worried about its widespread appeal. Several times, however, I heard people say that they felt Wuthering Waves was actually closer to Tower of Fantasy than Genshin. So there's also- That's just a shit take. That too. Oh, the UI? Sure. The UI? Sure. But the Tower of Fantasy is a fucking MMO. Though, Tower of Fantasy also has its own Genshin clone accusations, so I guess it isn't saying much. Lastly, as a cherry on top to finish this video, I- Bro, Breath of the Wild has accusations of being a Genshin clone. And the thing is, Genshin Impact copied Breath of the Wild. The fan base is just fucking idiotic, and you should disregard almost anything this player base fucking says. If the Genshin Impact player base hates you, it's because you're saying the truth. I want to go through which characters have the most support. There is this poll on the official Japanese oh, Discord for Wuthering Waves in their Oshikara channel. So it's not a huge sample, but I thought it was interesting. Please, for the love of God, don't support that dumb fucking grass root bitch. That character looks so bad. Interesting. Going from least popular to most popular, we have Juen, Verena in English. She's the least popular. Oh, thank God. I, she looks so bad. She looks, she looks so bad. Thank God. Morutefi, which is Morutefi, of course. Yuan, Fair. Yuan Wu, Fair. Shika, which is Chishia. That's crazy to me. Aruto, Alto. I think Alto's goaded. Sonota, Other. Who? Who exactly are these others? It's a construction girl with the abs, isn't it? Or maybe it's the other Dilf. Byakuren, Baiji. Beautiful character. Indin, Yinlin. She's my favorite. JP clearly doesn't know quality. Let me just add my vote here. Okay, continuing. Yep. Anko, Ankor. Tau She's cute. Tauki. Tauki is fucking goaded. Tauchi. Is it Tauchi or Tauki? Okay. Yang Yang, Yang. Really? She's that high? That's insane to me. Yang. Kian. Yeah, dudes. Jian. Hyo Hakusha. Jose. Yeah, hot as fuck. Female rover. Tanking. Danjin. Who the fuck is that? Hyo Hakusha. Danse. Male rover. And the most popular character is Sanka, otherwise known as Sanhua. In yep. <sighs> hey, I get it. I get it, bro. She is fine as fuck. But where, where's the martial artist? Where's the, uh, where's, uh, where's Zhao?
in English. This poll doesn't necessarily Where's Calcharo? show the characters that JP don't like, just the characters that they like the most out of all of them. No ranked choice voting here either, unfortunately. It's also not the most up to date, as it was posted before Janshin and Kaltros uh, were announced. Ah, interesting. So they are most likely the others I was joking about earlier. Just so you know, Janshin's name in Japanese is Kanshin and Kaltaro is Kakarot. Seriously, the Kuro games, would you just make his name Kakarot? Ain't no True. What do you want to call him? Carpaccio or whatever it is. True. So yeah, that's what JP thinks of Wuthering Waves. What do you think? Was it anything surprising to you? Let me know down in the comments below. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. Peace. It sounds like JP really enjoys CBT2. So I think the game's going to do very well. That was a fucking amazing video. Amazing delivery. Yo, boys, go give this video a like and a sub. Uh, really, really, really fucking good. And uh, yeah. I'm stoked for Wuthering Waves, man. I know a lot of people's excitement has dropped off a little bit. But here's the thing. I don't have ADD. So, like, I'm still looking forward to this shit every fucking day. I heard that this shit could be coming out in May, which would be insane. But we'll have to see. Hi, Bryce. Hello. Hey, John, it's Captain Morgan. How are you? Uh, I'm streaming the call back. <sighs> All right, cool. Let me go piss. Uh, uh. Give me a second. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. All right, boys, we've done a lot of work today, man. Four React videos. Four React videos. Also, what is what is Rise of Ronin? Rise of Ronin, the final preview. Is this a new Souls? Rise of the Ronin has been a blast so far. While not a graphical stunner like Ghost of Tsushima, I have been very impressed with the depth and sheer number of things to do. The story is compelling and gives you motivation the fuck is to keep going to see what's next. There's plenty of gear you can acquire to make a stronger build. Characters you meet during your journey will join your crew and fight Angry alongside Baldwin. you. There's a transmogrification system that lets you customize your appearance while also having the best gear possible equipped. And you can pet cats. But Yay! more important than all that, the core gameplay felt like a mix of the storytelling and exploration in Assassin's Creed 2 with a smidgen of Ninja Gaiden combat. <laughs> and a dash of Dark Souls difficulty. In other words, this recipe seems to be a perfect mix of gameplay ingredients that I've been loving. That looks really fucking good. The main storyline of Rise of Ronin is all about a duo referred to as Blade Twins. In this case, it's believed that the duo are brother and sister like that looks really suffered fucking a good. terrible fate at a young age as their village burned to the ground. Instead, they were saved and recruited into the Veiled Edge as Blade Twins. Highly skilled with the sword, Blade Twins train and grow together as they master their skills. One of your first tests of skill has you infiltrating the ship of historical figure Matthew C. Perry to steal a secret message and assassinate Perry after doing so. This section does a good job of showing off a few stealth elements of Ronin and also showcases com- Shut the fuck up combat with the footage PlayStation sent us to use for this preview. Combat will require precise timing for counters, and you'll need to pay close attention to Inside. your key gauge, which is basically a stamina bar. Getting hit too much while blocking will deplete your key, but parrying your opponent or damaging them will result in a loss of their key. There's a second row. key, and they'll be left open for a devastating attack. Yes, second row. 
The back and forth is a lot of fun in practice, but it's not easy to hit that perfect timing. Each encounter also allows you the opportunity to use stealth to infiltrate an area, and you can take out a few enemies without being seen. But in almost every situation, there will be higher powered foes that will require you to know the combat basics to defeat them and move forward. So while I built a character with a speech trait that opened up some unique dialogue options for me, there's no escaping those necessary combat beats that Ronin does quite well. What the fuck? Oh, that, paid off. that looks insane! That Ronin does quite well. Where did bro even come from? Oh, paid off. Why the fuck are they speaking English? What? Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> After this introductory Jesus. section, Roman really opens up. Our preview window promised two hours of playable content, but it turned out it was much more than that. We were given access to a large open world that included country- Or they just sucked. ...beside towns and open fields, as well as city spaces with different types of missions located at each. In these sections, you can choose to take on story quests, side quests, customize your longhouse- Remember Pink was trying to do the Undertale intro? That was supposed to take maybe five, 10 minutes. And she was on it for five to six hours and then rage quit. Or play mini games alongside other activities I probably missed. The provided footage we're allowed to use in this preview does a good job of showcasing a smattering of options available to players, but even this feels like it's just a glimpse into what's available. So far. I haven't even played some of what you're seeing yet. One notable mission in the footage was a story beat where I fought alongside the eccentric Ronin to gain his allegiance in one of the battle missions. In our preview, battle missions allow us to gain ally allegiance as part of core story missions. These are fun excursions that have bonus objectives like defeat three formidable foes and will have an impact on the overall story you wind up experiencing. The main objective cool in this spot. case was to defeat Gonzo and decide his fate before looting some forged documents that would complete the quest. I could have murdered him right there, but I instead chose to spare Gonzo. Fast forward to the open world section, and I meet a character in the middle of nowhere asking me to deal with a person who swindled him. Courage the Cowley Dog. Who did it turn out to be? None other than Gonzo, who was getting into trouble again, even after I spared him earlier. This time, I can finish him for real or have him join my crew. Oh, that's if I cool! If I kill him off, I would have been rewarded Damn. with some loot, but if I didn't, I got an extra helper to fight beside me in the open world. That's fucking awesome! I'll take that over a few trinkets any day. And I discovered you get little buddies because I reloaded my save just to see what would happen had I chosen the other option. And while I had really been having fun with Rise of the Ronin up until this point, this was the moment that really solidified how much I was liking this game. That's Great fucking combat, sick. An intriguing story, decisions that matter, tons of stuff to do, and you can pet cats. I'm sold. My decision to spare Gonzo would pay off too because in my upcoming story mission fight with Kira, I now had three allies going into battle instead of just two. Myself, the eccentric Ronin, and Gonzo were an unstoppable trio ready to take Kira down. Yeah, but you're not really getting the soul's experience unless you kill everyone. Like, getting allies is just kind of your... Like, are you really even playing the game? Like, what? I don't know. I can't watch this streamer. This shit is so cringe. And that's just in the opening missions. I am tremendously excited to see who else I can recruit into my group. These were the core missions that we got to experience in our preview, but there's a lot more to do. While running in the open world, you might come upon towns that are overrun with troublemakers that you'll need to dispatch to restore order. There are many games like the Gatling Gun Firearm Range that was te... They've been gassing this game up for five and a half minutes. If this gets anything less than an eight, IGN is just full of shit. It's in the footage Sony sent over, or the glider mini games that challenge you to break all the targets floating in the sky. And while they didn't show much of it in the video that we're allowed to use, there's an entire gear system at play that encourages you to learn different weapons and use tools like the sub weapon class that includes things That's cool. like throwing stars, rifles, bows, and I more expected combat that. to get a leg up in battle. That's in addition to your main weapons, by the way, which have a smattering of samurai classics. Rise of the Ronin is poised to give players a lot to dive into, and while it doesn't quite live up to PlayStation's first-party open-world exclusives in the graphics department, the developers at Team Ninja have focused on what's important, an engaging story that has a great hook to keep you... Yeah, the graphics are, like, low-key bad. ...exploring a fun game... For what we're used to now in 2024. ...play system that will keep you striving to perfect your skills, and all of that is found alongside a smattering give of activities to challenge yourself with. 
I can't wait to see how it all comes together when Ronin launches later this month. For more on the latest upcoming You games, don't even review it! Us our previews of South Park Snow Day and my real final preview of Dragon's Dogma 2. And for the rest of your gaming news, previews, features, reviews, and game Where's the help, review, man? Right here on IGN. Yo, what? Stellar Blade Physics? Like, how do people play these games and not just start cranking it? I just don't get it, bro. What is, this is so fucking funny. Oh, my God. Aiden Ross accidentally revealed that Andrew Tate will be escaping Romania. Aiden about to have Andrew arrested again. Andrew Tate was arrested after Aiden Ross blabbled about his escape plans. The influencer read Tate's message about his plans to leave Romania and never come back out loud in a kickstream last week. Aiden Ross saying that Cobra Tate and Tate Tatesman leaving Romania and never coming back. He just leaked the outcome of the lawsuit. There's no way, right? Aiden Ross and Andrew Tate, one of the most viral combinations on the internet not too long ago because Aiden Ross needed to improve himself and Andrew Tate was the perfect person to teach him. Like he gave up along the way when Aiden... Romania soon and probably never coming back from it. Suggesting Aiden kept going back to his old habits, but Aiden suggesting that there could be some content coming again from them soon. Um, Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never it's I'm sorry. He said it's not. It's basically now or never. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, you know, and, and this is just, I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Um, and again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like, we got to take advantage of it now because, hey, bro, it's, it's, it's just, it's basically like, yeah, it's like that. What a fucking dumbass, dude. Withering way what a fucking dumbass. Straight up. Yo! Twenty two huge wait, whoa, 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 what is this? Twenty two huge improvements to Wuthering Waves as of two hours ago? This is new? Wait, what did they do? Waves is an open world action RPG with amazing combat and a monster collection aspect. Yeah, it's really good. Recipe for success, right? God damn like a recipe for Holy Fuck, she's gotta be meta. She's got to be meta. She's got to be meta. She better be a limited character. Dude, she needs to be busted. Whole, holy, holy fuck. Holy fuck. For success, right? But just 10 minutes oh, ago, its fuck, future sorry. was uncertain. After taking player feedback from the last beta test seriously, Kuro Games yep. rewrote a whopping 90% of the story yep. and changed countless other aspects of the game. Insane. These are 22 of the ways that Withering Waves has improved in its second closed beta test. Okay. Beginning with one of my favorite features, an unsettling NPC will introduce you to the depths of Elusive Realm, a roguelike... Bro, look at that big fucking cat! What the fuck was it? Bro, what even is that? I've never seen B-roll of that shit in my whole life. What is this cat? A roguelike game mode that provides unique challenges as you pit one lone character against the rooms of mobs and bosses. Before so were, were people in CBT2, were they allowed to do the simulated universe? Was that in the game if you played long enough or no? How long is it taking to access it? Did people, did people like it? Did people, did people like that shit or what did they think? Because I, I have heard very little things about it.
For each run, you'll choose an Echo to equip, and can eventually unlock abilities only seen here, such as the ability to fully transform into your Echo. You That's can insane. even unlock Echo-exclusive resonance skills that do massive damage. Actually insane. Every single character model and accompanying animations have been upgraded in a big way. Good. We've got subtle eye movements, flowing hair, and, uh... Big old tits! Okay, maybe it's not perfect yet. Grover I think it's great! What do you, whoa, 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 what's the problem? What, what is that about? Where's the problem? I don't understand. It's the main character of Withering Waves, and you can choose between the female or male version at the start of the game. Yeah, you can pick the female or make a mistake, up to you. Fortunately, she or he has a lot of personality now. That's nice! And despite often being silent, even gets to speak during some cutscenes. Imagine that! Before I talk about the next character who hugely benefited from the rewrite, I want to talk about this video's sponsor. Awesome ch Yo, let's go! Making money, baby! Huge! Since Rover has learned to be more independent, Yang Yang no longer needs to be Rover's constant oh, companion in the Sometimes they split up. Good. She's a competent character who will earn your respect through her actions. Thank God. And I'm glad she feels like more than Rover's mouthpiece now. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm getting really tired of the games needing to have, like, Paimons. You know what I mean? Like, Genshin needing Paimon, fucking Nikkei needing Anise and Rappi, fucking uh, Honkai Star Rail needing March 7th. Oh my God, bro. Just let the main character fucking talk. It's so annoying. It's are much more vibrant in some areas. This is still a post-apocalyptic game, and when you play, you'll find many strange and uncanny places. The contrast between vibrant and spooky locations allows the latter to have a much bigger impact. Hawkeye Star Rail? Wait, did they put Hawkeye Star Rail in the game? Have a much bigger oh my god, bro, the little pom-poms on there. Locations allows the latter to have a much bigger impact. Your terminal is kind of like a Pokedex, and now it levels up just by capturing echoes of different rarities. Before, catching echoes wasn't enough. You also had to level them up with precious XP materials, which felt like a waste if you didn't have any good echoes to invest in. This new system really- <laughs> You know what would be crazy? And I just want to paint this scenario for you. What if everybody waits for Wuthering Waves release? It finally comes out. And it's just dog shit. <laughs> Can you imagine that shit? Can you imagine how many hearts? You can hear them collectively break. It's just like terrible. Like, like it's it's like one of those games where you have to play eight thousand hours a day, or you're behind. You know that actually be so funny. Though. I wouldn't even be mad. It would actually just be fucking funny. I would not care. Really encourages the monster catching aspect. And then people just start saying, "Don't worry, guys. Z Z Z is right around the corner." Oh man. Aspect of the game. The map has a nice new design. It could still use a few quality of life features, but it's easy to navigate and I like looking at it. Nah, the map looks terrible. In co-op mode, you can now see your allies' location on the map. Thank God. Yeah, that- Put that shit on the mini-map though. Put that shit on the mini-map with like an arrow. Didn't exist before. Character quests used to be really boring, but now feature beautifully animated cutscenes and yeah, unique dude, dungeons. Dude, uh, Zhao's, Zhao's character cutscene was insane. Now has or some of the insane. most beautiful gacha animations for obtaining characters I've ever seen. It really feels like you're being rewarded anytime you pull a character, even a four star. Yeah, but have you seen K Cookie Run Kingdoms? Have you seen Have you seen Cookie Run Kingdoms gacha animation? Look at this shit, bro. Cookie Run Kingdom, gacha. Look at this shit, bro. Gotcha animation. Bro, no, I'm telling you, bro. Cookie Run Kingdom, man. Bro, don't don't fuck with don't sleep on that game. Look at this shit. Cookie Run. Look at this. Right? Insane. Just wait. Oh yeah. No. Roll it out. Look at the air. Yep. Stamp them. You're not ready for this. You're not ready. Breaks the ground. Star, you're in space. You're a space cookie. Okay? Cookie entrance. Just wait. Just wait. It gets crazier. It gets crazier. Yep. Cookies. Cookies. Come fly with me. Right? Here we go. Not done yet. Day 1000 at this current camp. Yep, that's right. Gosh, yep. do you even lift? No, I'm weak. Swift as the wind. Yes, you are. Okay. Now watch this shit. Yellow, orange, purple, explode. Cookie space. You 
like it spicy, huh? Yep. There they are. But now just wait till you see the five stars. Ready for the shit? Watch the shit. Orange, blue, purple. Ready for this? Space cookie. The ocean is forever. Cutscene. Oh my god. I feel the warmth of your heart. If Cookie Run Kingdom can do this shit, that's a five star cookie, guys. That's a five star cookie. We haven't even gotten into dragon rarity or ancient rarities. If Cookie Run Kingdom can do this, we deserve more from our gotcha animations. You know what? I'm with YDCB. The animations for pulling from Honkai Star Rail are shit. Step up the fucking game. Genshin and Honkai Star Rail should be ashamed. Wuthering Waves is finally doing it right. Star. Localization has improved significantly. Good. Some sections are rougher than others, but Kuro Games has already made it clear that it's in an unfinished state right now. Once the game has some more time to cook, I really believe it will have a solid localization. We'll it's already it. better than PGRs, not that that's saying much. Ooh. Wait, the game with bad localization releases another game with bad localization? Ooh. Man, that's rough. Maybe we just release in less languages. Let's just do like uh, Chinese, Japanese, Korean... English, Spanish. It's like all of them, right? That's like all of them. Echo skills have been reanimated and have a much bigger impact now. Although they can be pretty powerful, they're balanced by the fact that your character can still get hit while you use them. Ooh, so I don't like you that. need to be tactical. It okay, I didn't know that. I literally thought I was invulnerable. Ooh, didn't know that. That's a nice element of risk versus reward. The villains are actually interesting now. Oh. You say interesting, I say fuckable. Thank you, writing team, for rescuing them from mediocrity. Good when shit. You Scar in the story, you'll understand. Scar so Tutorials cool. are now plentiful in the game, but they don't feel obnoxious. Most of them are opt-in when a relevant situation arises. I was convinced the game never told me that immediately after evasion, you can basic attack to counter with huge damage. But it's Wait, you can do that? I didn't know that. Okay, I was not doing that. All right. Okay, well, there it is. Look at that. Okay. Man, so I was playing on, I was playing on hard mode. Interesting. It's actually in the description for extreme evasion. Vaguely. This is why you should read your skill descriptions, everyone. Five star limited read. characters such as Jian and Yinlin debut. Goddamn, guys. I mean, fellas. I mean, am I crazy here? Characters such as Jian and Yinlin. I mean, holy fuck. That is so fucking hot. It's unbelievable. Limited characters such as Jian and Yinlin debut. Oh my god, bro, that's all the content I fucking need. Alongside a signature weapon. Unlike the character banner, the weapon banner is 100% guaranteed to give you the advertised Holy weapon. Holy shit, she's gotta be broken. Pulls. She has to be broken. Morning Aches no longer has an extremely long death animation. It was bittersweet, but not after the 50th time you beat it. <laughs> I love standing out in the rain. But I don't love that characters somehow stay dry and are unaffected by wind. One might say the weather leaves them unwithered. Wait, so you... Are they gonna get wet now? I'd wager polish like that will come when the game is fully released. This boss is That'd no longer insane. sequestered off in a random dungeon. What was once its old lair is just part of the overworld now. On your journey, you'll come across tacit discords with a red aura. Yeah. These high-level enemies serve as one-time world bosses, and defeating them earns you a trophy and guarantees the highest rarity echo of that creature. Oh, that's Great cool! for leveling your terminal. Dodge counters deal massive damage to them even at low levels, so you can take on the challenge any time. That's cool as fuck! Get hit. Hologram battles are punishing fights that will test your ability to dodge and parry. Enemies gain extra mechanics as you ascend in difficulty. Aren't these things like fucking impossible? The boss fights in this game are excellently designed and hologram battles are a perfect way to fully realize them. The old version of the main story used to involve traveling to each zone, solving each area's problems and taking down the local boss. Formulaic, Good formula. to say the least. Yeah. Fortunately, each boss story is now in a separate exploration quest, freeing up the main story to be more interesting and incentivizing players to explore each area. 
And right. finally, once you complete certain milestones for map exploration, you can unlock tools to help you discover treasure you've missed. Craftable radars for caskets and chests take the frustration out of searching for the last few things you need. But my absolute favorite improvements go beyond just the small stuff, which is why you need to watch this video where I cover the biggest changes in Withering Waves Closed Beta 2. Bro! Okay. Withering. I'll go again. Two weeks ago, I've already seen this shit. Fuck, I've already seen this shit. Damn! Hey, looks good though. Dude, I cannot get over how good... Okay, and I know I should be talking about more shit than this, but I cannot get over how good Yin Lin's boobs look in the CBT too, bro. That shit is wild. Anyways, hey, good video, bro. Good shit. I'm stoked as fuck for Weathering Waves. I legitimately can't wait, man. Maybe two more months. Maybe two more months and we're there. I'm going to be grinding the fuck out of that, and it's going to be like the launch of Hawkeye Star Rail all over again. It's going to be beautiful, man. There's going to be sun in the skies. The birds will be chirping, and finally I'll never have to be sad about not having an open world gotcha to play ever again. Oh, man, we're going to be back. We're going to be fucking back, man. Wuthering waves. It's going to be good. Surely it's going to be good. People are going to give a fuck, and it's going to be a good fucking time. It has to be. It has to be. It will. It will be so fucking good. I can't wait, bro. There's no way it's bad. There's no way. There's no way it's bad. Please wail. Hell no. I'll be a light spender in worst case scenario, but that game lives and dies by the difficulty, and I don't want to just wail out and ruin the game for myself. You know what I mean? So I'll be getting a C0 copy of probably every character, and that's about it. Low key. I'm not wailing hard. Every Genjin CC must watch this. A narcissist is an expert at manipulating, lying, and assaulting others with cruel verbal attacks. When you first meet them, they can appear charming. But in reality, they're wholly focused on pleasing themselves by winning the adoration of others. Soon, their masks come off, and what shines through are their intense feelings of entitlement and superiority. <clears throat> Things that every Genshin Impact content creator needs to watch? Wait, why, why does every Genshin Impact content creator need to watch this? Wait, what is this? A narcissist is an expert at manipulating, lying, and assaulting others with cruel verbal attacks. When you first meet them, they can appear charming, but in reality, they're wholly focused on pleasing themselves by winning the adoration of others. Soon, their masks come off, and what shines through are their intense feelings of entitlement and- See, this is what I like. Because for me, mask bit off. <laughs> Unless I'm masking myself to be a worse person. In which case, if the mask comes off, man, what a happy surprise. If there's one thing that I loathe, it's when people pretend to be wholesome, but then are absolute pieces of shit. It feels like such a betrayal. Like if you were to see a wrestler who's a real big dickhead on the fucking screen, and then you were to meet him in real life and he's really nice and caring, then it's nice. But if there's like someone really wholesome on your television screen and then you meet them and they treat you like shit and call you creepy, you know, that, that nobody's going to enjoy that shit. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to enjoy that shit. But uh, I should be the only motherfucker getting pr- Are there intense feelings of entitlement and superiority? When they don't get their way, true colors will show. With that said, here are seven things that narcissists absolutely hate. I'm Being not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to lie. This... This is ringing true for a lot of things right now. Hey, true colors will show. But I'll be real, man. People know my true colors for years. Anybody ever been surprised? But like, I can't believe Tectone did this. They're like, oh, no, yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it sounds like something Techie would do. You know, but I, I don't know, bro. Your color's bald. Good one. Kill. Uh, anyways. With that said. Here are seven things that narcissists absolutely hate. Tell me. Being told no. Narcissists feel that their wants and feelings are more important than other people's. And they hate being told no, regardless of what it is they want you to do. Let's say you're dating a man who likes when women wear dresses every day. But you say no to that. Or you're dating a woman who enjoys yoga and she wants you to join her, but you say no thanks. When a narcissist hears no, they respond with anger and will pull out all the stops to get you to do what they want. Bill Eddy from the National Conflict Resolution Center in San Diego found that when you tell a narcissist no and stand your ground, they will become combative and verbally abusive. But you have the right to say no if you don't want to do something, no matter how much they hate to hear it. 
The only time I, I want to speak from experience, the only time that I find no annoying, this is vague, right? A lot of people could hear, oh, I don't like being told no. Am I a narcissist? I don't think so. The, th- the times that I don't like when people say no is when it seems unreasonable and they don't give a reason, right? That's the shit that annoys me where it's like, hey, man, you mind help me out real quick? No. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm going to just sit right here. Like, dude, I just need help for like 15 seconds. No. Why? Oh, because I don't feel like it. Like, that shit will annoy the fuck out of me, right? But I feel like you got to be careful when understanding uh, internet diagnoses. Criticism. They don't need a reason. Um, Yes, they do. If someone's living in my house for free and they're not paying rent and I ask them to help me bring in the groceries that I paid for so that way they can eat, they don't get to say no. They just don't. They do need a reason. And if they have a reason, it better be fucking good. Because while they're living in my house for free, while they're getting the food that I pay for them, they're going to fucking do exactly what they fucking need to do. Just like these whiny fucking kids. Imagine these fucking whiny bitch-ass kids where their parents are paying for their house, their parents are buying them for this, oh, no, I want to play Fortnite. Shut the fuck up. I'm working a nine to five to support your ass that I don't like. I got a fucking weeb for a son. Disgusting. <clears throat> Get the fuck off your fat, nasty fucking ass. Bring in the fucking groceries, Jim, you little bitch. They don't get to say no. Have you ever criticized a narcissist? If so, you have probably felt the sting of their backlash. They hate any form of criticism because it leaves them feeling like they're looked down on. Even if your critical opinions were minor, like not liking the design of their shirt or disagreeing on a movie, They cannot handle criticism. Robert S. Horton from the Department of Psychology at Wabash College found that their anger is more intense when they feel that the person criticizing them holds a higher status than they do. They always feel a need to be reassured that they are the smartest, best looking, and most talented of everyone. So when you criticize a narcissist, they will become angry, losing control, losing- We love that you're free to play. Now I will say criticism doesn't bother me. But in this video, it says of higher status. No. What bothers me is when people of lower status shit talk me. Uh, Like people who suck. Like people who are just like garbage. Like I hate when people, when someone sits around every day, is unemployed, living off government welfare, who plays League of Legends for 16 hours every day, has the audacity to come into my chat and say, L take, this guy's out of touch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. The guy who got his degree by reading Reddit articles. Shut the fuck. You got me? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, bro. L take, this guy's out of (laughs) touch. Oh, man, that shit's annoying as shit. Or like, you know, it's like, for example, like when I've played a game, like uh, what's a game I'm good at? Cookie Run Kingdom. When I'm sitting here with 5 million power in Cookie Run Kingdom and I'm out here fucking top challenger, Cookie Run Kingdom arena player, and then some bronze motherfucker says, nah, bro, I mean, your back line's looking a little bit weak. You should run double tank to make up for that. Fuck you, bitch. You think I don't know, dumb fuck? That's another thing that I fucking hate. When I get told some shit that I already know, like I didn't know it, that shit annoys the fuck out of me. That shit annoys the fuck out of me. Bitch, yeah, I know. Why are you telling me that? It's like, hey, man, uh, uh, what's what's some bullshit I right now? Hey, yo, did you know the square root of 169 is 13? Yeah, no shit, dumb fuck, I know that. Why are you telling me that shit? Jackass. Fuck you, bitch. It's like what, the other day, who, who, oh, yeah, I was in the car with my buddy, and they were telling me that I should just use a lav mic for my couch setup. Yeah, I know that, bitch. <laughs> Kicked him out of the fucking car. Took their wallet, set it on fire. Okay? Took their Xbox, broke it. Don't tell me shit I already know. I know that. You tell me I'm bald, I know that. I'll take this guy's out of touch. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> uh, so stupid. So dumb. Anyways, I crashed the car and I died, guys. Anyways. Control is one of the biggest things that narcissists hate. How do they know that you know that, though? Okay, but it would be, like, insulting. Right? It's, like, insulting that they didn't think that you knew that. It's, like, for example. Hey, bro, have you heard of toilet paper? 
Yeah, it's really good. You can like wipe your ass with it and it'll like get the shit out of your bum bum. Right? Like if I were to tell you that, right? Like what else is that saying? It's that saying that you're a nasty, fat fucking slob that doesn't know how to wipe their ass. Right? There are just certain things. It's like, well, yeah, fucking obviously. Look at my asshole. It tastes immaculate. Anyways. Wait. They need to control everything from the topic of conversation to your life choices. Have you ever been in a relationship? or had a friend or family member who was always correcting your decisions and telling you how to feel and act. These narcissists want to control every aspect of your life. And this is all under the guise of just giving their opinion. Okay, now I agree that this could be a narcissist. However, the other person could just be a dumb fuck, right? It's very possible, right? Because the problem is, is that dumb fucks might see this and think they're getting manipulated, but what if the person is actually just stupid as shit, right? And they just they just keep on damaging themselves. They keep on hitting themselves in the face. And like, oh, why does it hurt so much? And then some guy comes up and says, hey, bro, maybe you should stop hitting yourself. You're going to hurt yourself. Are you manipulating me? No, bro, you're just stupid as fuck, right? Don't stop until they're in. So that, that's why videos like these are very important to know. Because some people are just trying to give you genuinely helpful advice, right? Now, if they're coming to you and they're being like, they're going to use you, traveler. Don't hang out with them. They're not good people. Only hang out with me. Everyone else is a bad influence, traveler. You know it. They're speaking lies to you. They're going to use you. That's some shit where it's like, okay, back the fuck up. But, like, here's a good example. I went to a, a place called Lifetime uh, yesterday, and this woman came up to me who's obviously in love with me. Uh, it's obvious by the way she looks at me, and it's honestly kind of annoying. I have an issue where just everyone falls in love with me. It's just, you know, it's just a normal day for me. Anyway, she comes up to me, and she tells me she's starting a D&D &D podcast. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. Yep, tell me about your D&D &D podcast. I already knew everything she was going to say. She says she'd been doing this podcast for two years, and now she finally has 13 viewers. Okay, I looked her dead in her eyes and I said, your DND &D podcast is shit. Okay, now, now you might say that's mean of me to do. Okay, but I said this, your DND &D podcast is not good. It will never be successful. And here's why. And here's why I said, you must have DND &D podcast be one shots when you're growing. She made the counterpoint. Yeah, well, Critical Role does this. Here's the thing, bitch. You're not Critical Role. There's a big... And I asked her, what's the difference between you and Critical Role? Let me tell you an answer. About a million fucking people watching. Okay? If you are growing, you have to have your D&D podcast being one shots because if it's not... Okay, if it's not, every single time a person comes into your podcast, they're going to be alienated by not having the information accessible to them of all the events prior. If you do one shots for your D&D &D podcast, then every new user who can come in will be rewarded by knowing exactly what's going on from the very start of the stream. And you have a much less chance to alienate any new viewers because it's accessible, right? That's not me manipulating someone. That's me giving them good advice. Just the same thing I recommend to all of the... I was called toxic for this in the past. I told a person that you shouldn't waste your time Twitch streaming 8, 10 hours a day. You want to know why? Because that's not how you grow on Twitch. You want to know how you grow on Twitch? Okay? You do YouTube. You do TikTok. You do Twitter. You focus your efforts there, and then you drag in those people to your Twitch. And that's how you grow on Twitch. Then, once you get a base, line to where you can control a category and be in the top left, then you have a higher chance of garnering new viewers, right? But going live to five people every day for eight to 10 hours, that's not going to fucking do anything. Okay. You want to go on websites that have search engines. Oh man, this video is really getting a lot out of me. You want to go on websites where you have search engines in order to grow that way. Anyways, let's continue. Def uh, uh, what is this? Sure. Defend yourself, narc plus L take. This guy's out of touch. Uh -uh. Yeah, or you can do what everybody else does and just view bot. They're in full control over you. A paper by Sarah Barkley and psychologist Dr. Vera Sarapali 
explained that a narcissist cannot accept when they lose domination over your life and Fair. are no longer in control of your emotions. The more you resist, the angrier they become. After all, they have to be in control and hate to lose it. And generally what a narcissist will do in this situation will pull the age-old classic of, uh, if you don't do this, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, and the moment somebody says that, it's going to be uncomfortable. Just call the police. You know, call call the suicide hotline. You know, get them in contact with somebody and then you just need to leave the situation. Because people saying, I'm going to kill myself unless you do this. Oh man, you cannot hang out with those people, bro. That is so bad. Others being happy. Narcissists are inherently unhappy and insecure. So they hate to see others happy with their own lives. This can manifest in different ways. When they see others succeeding and reaching personal goals, their insecurity causes them to lash out. Yeah, I agree. When someone else's success makes you insecure of your own success, that's when you really got to take a step back. Like, th there's a lot of people on even Twitch who have like thousand, two thousand viewers, and then they'll say, "Yeah, well, Mr. Beast gets millions of views." It's like, okay, bro. You, you comparison is the key to becoming miserable within yourself, and you need to be happy with every step along the way that you get. Like that's why I don't shoot for twenty, thirty thousand viewers. I'm happy with my viewership. I'm happy with my life. I love my content. I'm happy with my viewership, and I don't worry about that shit sometimes even behind their back. But they will go out of their way to try to knock you back down and devalue you. Researchers at New York University found that insecurity is a driving factor behind narcissism. Yeah, Which I is agree. the reason they hate to see others happy. I want to agree. Called out. Narcissists hate to be called out on their lies and may even cut you out of their lives after you call them out on their lies. Okay, I'll be real. I don't think this is a narcissist thing. I just think that's an everybody thing. I think if somebody gets called out for their bullshit, I feel like nobody likes that. Right. Like, especially if it's by somebody trying to make a point on why you're a piece of shit. I don't feel like it's a narcissist thing. I feel like it's like everybody thing. Psychologists at the Iowara Health and Medical Research Institute and School of Psychology did a study with 436 participants who were in relationships with people or had relatives that were diagnosed with narcissism. They found... Diagnosed? The what the fuck? Diagnosed? The fuck's that even mean? You can get that shit diagnosed. Wait, you can get diagnosed for being a dick? Wait, do people consider narcissism a, a, a mental illness? It's a disorder? What the fuck? Wait, being a piece of shit's a disorder now? I've never heard of that ever. What do they give do they do people give medication for that? Like do people get medication for being a narcissist? I've never heard of that. That's insane. Yeah, it's called a punch in the face. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Dude, I remember when I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. And uh, so they tried to medicate me for it. And uh, you know what that did? That turned me into a zombie. They gave me meds that turned my brain off. Right? Here's the thing, man. Your medication isn't going to be able to get rid of my connection with the spirit realm. It's just not. Like, legit. Hold up. I have a, psych I have a psychologist here. Kevin, like, can you explain? Can you explain to my chat how schizophrenia works? Because I've tried for years and they don't get it at all i don't know they're on the internet uh probably dropouts to be honest oh, then there's no reason to rationalize them no i agree okay yeah no let's move on yeah fuck it yeah no it's just pointless it's like what, what are you gonna do what are you gonna do turn my brain off like i'm connected to the spirit realm bro top narcissistic traits was an overinflated sense of importance hmm they think they're smarter and superior to everyone else, which includes telling a string of lies about their life. When you correct them on their tall tales, they become angry and will verbally attack you to belittle and criticize your intelligence. Feeling vulnerable. They hate feeling vulnerable and weak, especially if they think others are laughing at them or looking down on them. A study published in Personality and Individual Differences show- You know what's crazy? I actually love feeling vulnerable. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I like when people see me as a victim, like a pathetic, a pathetic piece of shit. 
And then, then they look down on me and they make that face where they smile. Then I just start masturbating and coming. Thing that they see me is just a little fucking pig. A little fucking sloppy pig. You know what I mean? There's something about that's just fucking hot. You know, and they say, yeah, lick my boot. Uh, Tracho, cut that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Show that though they enjoy laughing at others, they become furious and insensitive, ordering on cruel to get back at others. They'll criticize everything about them, their clothes, hobbies, personality traits, and even appearances. Steal the limelight. Psychologist Seth Myers explains that narcissists believe they are deserving of adoration and attention and that other- Oh man, that's something that I fuck. Oh man, I wish I could do that. I, dude, I wish, I wish, I wish I could wake up and think, man, I deserve it. Man, I earned it. Man, that would be fucking sick. Holy, f can you imagine that? But the, the, the problem with this shit is, is that narcissism is, is very, very similar to just being prideful. You know what I mean? Like, it's so similar. And I think that's why anybody who has pride is considered a bad person on the internet. Because it's so fucking similar. Not really? Yes, it is. So if you're telling me that if anybody has any accolades that they're proud of and they think that they earn, then they're a narcissist? That's just not how it works. And, like, that is exactly what this video Attention is saying. Affairs explains that narcissists believe they are deserving of adoration and attention and that others should acknowledge them as extra special and superior. Right. So, like, if you do something amazing and you feel that you deserve to be recognized for it and that you're proud of what you've done, that what you've done, people will just call you a narcissist. Right? It, it's very hard. The line that you have to tiptoe across between narcissism and being prideful is so thin. They hate to see someone else. Become now, if you were to go live and say, I'm the only motherfucker should be getting praise for the Genshin Impact community for being free to play, then yeah, you're a fucking narcissist. You know what I mean? But if you're like, oh man, I fucking smashed that fucking test in school. Mom, dad, look, I got an A+. plus. What, are they a narcissist? Fuck no. That's why it's a fine line. That's why it's very hard to actually identify whether you're prideful or you're a narcissist. From the focus of attention and steal their limelight. A feeling that extends to everyone around them. If a friend or coworker receives accolades from others, they will try to belittle their achievement. This all comes down to the narcissist's need True. to be the center of attention at all times. Yeah. It's and like it's like people like this are like the people who beat Elden Ring and they say, Oh, you use rivers of blood? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I beat it with the strength build in the club. Oh, you beat you beat Elden Ring with the, the Great Hound curved fang sword? <laughs> Loser. Yeah, I did it with just melee. Unarmed, level one. It's like, shut the fuck up, bro. How much they hate to lose that feeling. Dealing with narcissistic people can be a challenge, but understanding the behaviors and triggers can help you navigate those interactions more effectively. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this video is very good, but I also feel like it can be very dangerous for a lot of people to make them think that there are narcissists when in reality they just have confidence. And I don't really think, I really don't think there's anything wrong with being confident in oneself, my opinion, right? It's just, it's a little bit vague and I feel like a lot of things can be taken out of, uh, out of uh, context. And uh, my problem is, is that 2024 is the year of self-diagnosing yourself with shit. And I feel like, uh, you know, that, that it's just at an all-time high. People, people self-diagnose themselves with illnesses and disorders that they don't have just because they watch one YouTube video by Jaden Animation. They say, oh, God, I'm schizophrenic because sometimes I hear things. Oh, my God, I'm a narcissist because I like who I am. Hey guys, you guys cool if I, uh, you guys cool if I get a little bit vulnerable with y'all? You guys okay with that? You guys cool? Cause I got, I got to show y'all something that's, that's pretty, pretty fucking important to me, bro. I got, I got to show y'all something that's good. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty important to me.
if that's okay. But if you guys can just humor me for a little bit. I want to show y'all a game that I've been fucking with heavily lately. I, I got to show y'all a game that I've been, I've been fucking with pretty heavily lately. I ain't going to cap. Guys, it's a good game. It's a good fucking game. Just don't, just don't, don't be, don't be weird. It's fun. Look at this fucking game, bro. Dude. Anyways, so I've been playing Cookie Run a lot. I started playing yesterday, maybe even two days ago. Your eyes are and I low-key been playing this shit non-fucking-stop. Uh, so what I'm saying is... If you if you haven't pl or have you been playing Cookie Run on Dark or uh, Dark Cacao, I need guild members because I need my guild to get stronger. What? Oh, but isn't this game so cute? Hold on, I got I got to show you the gameplay. But I, but I got to get I got to get all my little systems. I got to get all my little systems going real quick. Hold up, let me just uh Yeah, hold up guys. I got to I got to do the upgrades real quick. One second. I got I got to build my I got to build my kingdom. Hold up guys. I got to build my kingdom real quick. Yep. Okay, all right. I think we're good. All right, let me make some more bread. How much did you spend? I think I spent like probably high end, probably like a hundred bucks. Uh, did I have to? No, I just really wanted to because I was bored. Uh, because no, uh, because the past couple days have kind of sucked, and what makes me feel better is spending money on things. So I spent money on it, not because I needed to, not because I needed to. But because I wanted to. And that's very important for me to differentiate. Oh, I can level ships. Oh, dude, everything. I don't have enough sugar doughs. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, wait. I have 10 speeds. Hold on. I'll just skip real quick. Okay, hold up. Okay, I have enough sugar gnomes now. All right, we're good. We're in the clear. Okay. Give me that. Yep. Easy clap. Let me look at my fountain. Let's go! Alright, we're upgrading. We're making big plays. Our cookie kingdom is looking better than ever. Have I done my train? I need 15 more axes and 4 more little jams. Oh, fuck. I don't have jam. Uh, wait. Let me go make some more axes. Okay, when I have enough of those axes, I need the jam. Maybe I just skip the jam. I have 3 tickets today. Okay, I need more Bro, I love the soundtrack for this game so much. Uh, I probably need to put in the title that this is not sponsored. That's very, very, very important for me to say. Guys, I am I am literally playing this game because I want to play it. I want to make sure that's very clear. Uh, legally, I would not be able to lie about that. I want to make that very clear. What is this? Oh, the Maestro Sugar Gnome. Anyways, fuck story. Skip. Expand territory. How the fuck do I do that? Okay, that's being upgraded right now. Reclaim the forest by the sea. Oh my god, do I have to break this? What do I need? Oh, I can make it! I don't have enough fucking sugar gnome! No. I'm not spending. Got anything valuable? I'm not spending. I'm not spending. Time to spend? Nope. Don't need to. Don't need to, man. All right, let me show you this shit, bro. Dude, dude, the new player experience for this shit is so fucking gas. This game's on their third year anniversary, and the reason why I'm playing it is because maybe if I play this shit, Snuffy will acknowledge me. Wait, I'm on day four? I thought I started this shit yesterday, bro. I have a mental illness. I swear to God, I started playing, like, yesterday. Dude, dude, when you're in the Cookie Kingdom, man, when you're in the Cookie Kingdom... Time fucking flies. Like I'm not capping, bro. Uh, I need to. I need to get more people in my guild real quick. Okay. Uh, do we get? Do we get any people who want to join? Cookie Alliance. Okay. We need more members. Get the fuck off my face. We need more members for the Cookie Kingdom. Holy fuck, bro! Leave me alone. Uh, anyways, uh, let me. Uh, uh, let me do, uh, homeboy in the front. Bro, does this guy not look like he's from Hollow Knight? I also got this bitch. He's a legendary. 
This is my bomber. And that's my that's my heel slut. That's my heel slut. Alright, yeah, I like her. And then leader. Yeah. Wait, only these three can be the legendary leaders? Only a cookie with a crystal jam can be a leader. What the fuck? The fuck is this? Eight, 800,000? I fucking can't afford that. What the fuck is this? Uh, I need people. Can can guild members give me money? Oh, uh, hold up. I need people. They give me all that. Yeah, that's right. Ho. Okay. We got any members? SpongeBob. 1.1 million power. Bro, what the fuck are all these weak motherfuckers trying to do? Hey, hey, bro, bro, bro. Don't even, don't even try to get in here unless you got at least 100k power, okay? I got that shit in a day. 1.4 million cookie power? Holy shit, this guy's smurfing hard. Holy shit. 100k is too low? Whoa, 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 buddy. I earned that 100k. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's relax here, big man. I feel like 100k is pretty respectable, low key. Alright, uh, anyways, our, our guild name is Eggy Friends. If you want to come join, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our guild name is Eggy Friends, if you want to apply. Uh, my name is Eggy Eggdom. Uh, feel feel free to feel free to join if you have over 100k power. Okay, but listen, I, I can't be letting all the plebs in, okay? If you don't have 100 k I mean, I'm hoping Pink got her power up a little bit. She told me she was going to play last night. Let me make sure she's not lying to me. Is there a way to check your guildmate's power? Eggy Love, Umawada, Gyat, Kermit, Cloths, Goaded. Apply for Nagiti, Nistopia. Techie's left nut. What the fuck? Valen, only level 17. Guys, guys, we need to get the levels up, guys. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure Pig didn't even figure out how to join the guild. Do a temple? Okay, hold up. Let me get in there real quick. Okay, let's do a temple. All right, peep this shit, bro. Where is it? Gotcha. I have a free temple. I'm going to come. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a scroll. 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 This game sucks. Hold up. Give me a scroll. 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 This game is ass. Give me a scroll. 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 Oh, that's the wrong one, you fucker. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. All right. All right, we're gonna do a temple. Give me a legendary. Homeboy leaves in 10 hours? There's a new cookie coming in 10 hours? Wait, yo, is there leaks? Should I save or should I roll for Mercurial? Should I save or should I roll for Mercurial? Who's the new cookie coming out? Check their YouTube? Wait, is he busted? Roll we ball? Wait, cookie leaks? That shit goofy as fuck. Bro, how is this shit lame? It's cool. Who's meta? Okay, well, I'll tell you this shit right now. Uh, where is this other fucker? This dude. Homeboy is so busted, it's insane. Dude, dude. There are people with half my power bodying me because they have the Elder Fairy cookie. Look at this dude. He looks sick. Oh, yeah, he is. He's so... Here, I'll get him real quick. Can I buy him? <gasps> Free. How long do I have? 14 days. If 
if you notice, I've been pretty good at not buying anything, chat. Have you noticed that? You're not seeing any bought packages. I've been very good. I've been very good. You know, I've been very good about it. You nearly a pity? Yeah, there's been a bunch of free shit. Uh, yo, so here's the thing. Uh, yo, chat, permission to swag out? Here's a code, by the way. Redeem it here. Love Witch's Castle. Enter your dev play account here. How do I know what my dev play account is? How would I know what my dev play account is? How would I even know that? It's your email? Okay, let's see if this shit works. Click on my free gems real quick. Free to play, by the way. All right, uh, what's, the, what's the code close? Give me the code. Hold up, guys, this is important. Love Witch's Castle. Okay. Let's try it out. Claim. Done. What did I get? What the fuck, man? I didn't get anything. Uh, yo, wait. Should I, should I spend a little bit? Just so, like, you guys can see? Or is it, like, not worth? What does this do? Here, here, here. I'll spend... I'll spend eight dollars. Right? We'll spend... We'll spend eight dollars. You know what I mean? Eight dollars. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just... Let's just swag out. We'll just swag out. Might as well be eight million. No, we'll just do... Just so chat can see, right? This is this is this is important for chat to see, uh, you know, what eight dollars can get you in the game. We lost. I'm just getting eight dollars. That's it. It's just a, it's it's a small. It's guys. It's barely anything. Okay, that's 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 one hour of working minimum wage probably. What do we get? We got two. We got two cookies. We got two. Yep. Space. Give me a legendary. Here we go. Who is it? Who is this? Who is this? Oh, the, the healer guy. Oh, look at that, bro. Little dude. Cream unicorn cookie. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that. Little cream unicorn cookie. Okay, who else we get? Cute. Who else we get? Don't care. Who? Do you know how cookies are made? No. I don't know how cookies are made. What the These fuck? Boring. Oh, dude, she looks dope as fuck. She's like a, look at that. She's like a strawberry crepe. Easy. Bro, my mercurial night is fucking juice, dude. Bro, my guy's about to be fucking insane. He's actually better be fucking say Wait, that's not a cookie. Yeah, it is. Hold up. This Let me upgrade him. This piece was made possible by the guardian of the seal. Hey, C2, boys. C2, by the way. Evil will not tread these lands. Yep. Why don't any of these cookies have huge tits? Uh, wait, you want me to show you the cookie that people, uh... This is the cookie that people like. What do y'all think? This is what people think is are hot in this game. This, this is the cookie waifu, bro. Yo, how many of y'all would fuck the shit out of this cookie? 
want this chick, bro. I don't I don't know how to get her. This chick is so adorable, bro. But I don't know how to get her. This is the chick that pink pulled on her first temple. Or second temple. Who else? We got, we got more Coomer I also want homeboy. Bro, he's so fucking cool. He's actually so fucking cool. Oh, dude, look at this little fucking thing, dude. Is that not adorable? Look at this fucking cookie, bro. Look at how cute. Who else we got here? Yo, they even have Sinnoh on this game. <laughs> From hit game Genshin Impact. Um, so is this game just a Genshin ripoff or what's going on? They also have this fucking donut who's annoying as shit to deal with when you fight Arena. And I'm, I'm going to show you guys more. There's also got this fucking big meathead. Schwarzwalder, which I'm pretty sure is a racial slur. But I don't think the North America uh, recognizes that yet. What the fuck is that? Okay. Shut the fuck up. You see, every, every formula should be followed to the letter. Pay close attention to what I'm doing. You see, everything is made of particles. Shut up. I am the supreme. I'm from the future. Don't you forget it. I'm from the electricity. Give me something to do. You know what's cool? You can take the little guys. And look, look at this. Look at this. You're, this is going to be adorable. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Hey, let's take somebody cute. Let's take this chick. Okay, see this little cutie, my little sheep? I believe everyone has a warm heart. Bro, peep this shit, bro. You can take him, you put him in the swing. What? But they were swinging on it. Wait, hold up, hold on up. You can also have forced slavery. Pog, slavery in this game too? Watch this. I drag him in the fucking mines. Yeah, do my bidding. Put him in. Look at him. Another force to do my work. She's there fucking stuck making slimes for the rest of her life. That's her That's her purpose now. Just why are cookies so crispy and frail? Yeah, I know. I'm going to break all their limbs. I'm going to eat them. I'm going to eat them up. I'm going to slop them down. They need eight more axes. Go. All right. We need, uh, we need more. Uh, do you guys want to see the PvE or the PvP first? What do y'all want to say? Hey, right, I'm gonna do a gotcha real quick. We got we gotta get this guy. I need to get this guy really quick, really quick. I need to get him real quick. Let me just go on win real quick. Here we go. Please God, please God, please God, please God, please God, please God, please God. Let's go! There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. Five star was pulled. There's a chance. There's a chance. We have one chance. Give me him. Please. Please give me the fucking cookie. Please give me the guardian. No. Tons of points. This is good. Yep. Give me him. Not him. Not him. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Deliver me. On to death. Yep. Yep. More points. All good. Yeah, here we go. Give me him. Give me him. This world belongs to everyone. Who is that? He looks fucking awesome. Is he good? Is he good? He looks fucking sick. Uh, wait, he's mid? He's really good in PvE? Dude, he looks insane. I'm not, I'm not even mad about that. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. Oh, dude, we're so close to getting a guaranteed cookie, bro. Wait, how much is to do a 10 pole with my regular currency? No. Don't need it. Nope. <sighs> We'll grind him. We'll grind him. We will grind him. What is the odds of me getting him? Point three. Oh my god.
God, bro. God damn, bro. Pay up? No, bitch. No. I'm gonna do one more gacha bowl, and then I'm done. Well, let me show you all the cosmetics. So in this game, you can also roll for cosmetics. There's costumes for every cookie, or almost every cookie. Hold up. Oh, she looks happy. Yeah, what'd we get? Look at that nice little hug for all the cookies. Okay. Cute. Stupid. Man, even stupider the second time. Damn, bro. Can I get a refund? That shit is ass. Alright, let's do a let's do a quick little ten pull. Although who who's the next cookie? Hey fuck, I go for it anyways. Give me a five star. Kawaii, kawaii, kawaii. Fuck you, dumb bitch. No, chat needs to see another five star. Go again. Kawaii, 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 kawaii. Let's go! Okay, there's a chance. Two! Give me a legendary. Give me a fucking legendary. Give me a fucking legendary. Space cookie. Yep, here we go. Garbage. Garbage. Here we go. Voice line. Voice line. Voice line. Voice line. Oh, it's Mercurial! Okay! We got we got we got more short. We got more shards for Mercurial. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. That's our boy right here, man. That's our motherfucking boy. Okay. Okay. Give me a voice line. Give me a voice line. Somebody new. Somebody new. Give me a voice line. Somebody new. Voice line. Here we go. Voice line. Voice line. Let's plant a tree together. Hello there. Welcome to my garden. What the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck is that soy bitch doing here? Bro. Get the fuck out my game, bro. Gee, man, that shit's embarrassing, brother. Gee, I, I almost vomited just from seeing that dumb fuck. What a fucked up day, man. What a fucked up day. I can't buy more. Here, I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna do one more temple. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. We're gonna do one more temple. All right, here we go. Scroll. 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 But that's good. It's a dupe of what I need, but I need to scroll. Bro, just give me the. Just give me the old pilgrim scroll, you bitch. Old pilgrims. Old pilgrims. Old pilgrims. This game is dog shit, guys. Do not download it. It's terrible. It's a terrible game made by terrible people. Just don't play it. Okay? Low key. Low key. Just don't don't even bother. Okay? This game will slurp you up. It will suck you dry. Skip. Skip. Any skippers? Any skippers? Yo, raise your, raise your hand if you're going to skip. Yo, dev sisters, give me some good fucking luck and maybe people will play your fucking game. All right. Okay, how many how many actions do I have? Shut up. Do I have enough? Okay, I'll use my one ticket. Choo choo! Yay! Look at him go! And now when my train comes back, I'll have rewards, which is sick. Ooh, my fountain's done too. Pog. Okay. Yeah, give me that shit, brother man. Nice. Ooh, my car's done, poggers. This gives me uh, EXP and shit. Okay, we good? It looks like everybody's cooking right now. Except for you. Where's my jam, brother man? Get on it. Uh, looks like everybody's working hard right now. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'm not gonna do this thing. This thing's a scam. Okay, I wanted, I really want to show you guys the gameplay. Bro, can I just get more fucking summons? Is that too much? A thousand? What the fuck? 
Damn, bro. Okay, we're getting there. Wait, complete five bounties? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Here, let me show you all the, PV, uh, the PvE. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, man. I am overleveled like fucking crazy. Thank God. Uh, let me change my team real quick. Let me put in the bomber. Here, friends. Have a sip of this potion. Let me put in, let me put in the, the, the cutie. Alright, let's go. Are right, you ready? This is better the greatest combat you've ever seen in your entire life. I actually love CRK. Yeah, it's fun. It's a really good idle game. Look at me go, man. Slap this shit into for fun mode. Look at him go, bro. Ready this? We're ready to go. We're ready to go uh, way too dank mode. 2.5 times speed. Look at him go, man. Watch this fucking boss get evaporated. In mere seconds. I know, guys. I know. Now we go up in difficulty. Now we go again. So pretty much what happens here is I have my Mercurial Knight in the front. He's the tank. But I also have a Bomber who poisons people and summons an additional tank. Because my Mercurial Knight's a little bit squishy but does a fuck ton of damage. Then I have Moonlight. Uh, which sleeps the enemy team and also does big AoE damage uh, and also heals herself. And then I have the rider that increases the damage they take as well as moonlight increases the damage they take. And then I have my little sheep in the background which summons three sheep but also tank. And also when they're out, they also heal more. It's pretty much it's pretty much how my team works. Yeah, so now we're going up to level seven. Or level six. But we're shredding right now. We'll probably go up again. Who asked? Uh, somebody in chat cared. This is the new HSR event? Yeah, it's a minigame. It's a web browser event. See, it's it's getting slightly harder now. Right? We didn't kill it in five seconds this time. We killed it in six. So now what we got to do is we got to make sure. Okay? So you have your five guys. You have to level them up. You got to level up their skills. And they have relics. But then you also have in combat, like, buffs, which are the little scrolls that I was rolling for earlier. And I got to equip the, the whistle, which gives me more crit rate and more uh, attack speed. And then I'm also going to get rid of the revive because I'm not going to die. I'm going to get a uh, cooldown reduction for the entire team. All right, let's go. All right, level seven. So now our power levels are around the same, but I'm still going to fucking shred. Watch this shit. Bro really likes Cookie Slavery Simulator? Yeah. And I'm letting you know, the moment I end stream, I'm going to go sit on my bed and I'm going to continue playing this fucking game. It's been so nice having one of those fucking games where you just don't have to think. You watch cute little fucking oversaturated animations happen over and over and over again, and then you just fucking win. Why is bro advertising this game better than the ones he's actually sponsored by? Oh, because I actually like this game? Because <laughs> I actually fuck with Cookie Run Kingdom heavily, bro. This shit is actually mad fun. Hold on, let me see if there's any more cookies you want to join. All right, guys, I'm going to need everybody in stream to download this fucking game and join my guild and spend a lot of money. That way, I don't have to. Okay, do we have any more people? 300k power. Big. Below 100k, insta reject. Hey, get back to grinding, buddy. 500,000 cookie power. 180,000, you're lucky. Keep grinding. Noodle sack? Ooh. Hey, yikes. Yikes, man. Yikes. Uh, let's see here. 28 of 30. So we're going to need these guys to get their cookie powers up. I'm going to keep it 100% here. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna need the cookie power to get on up here. Everybody's been playing? Niztopia. That's not looking good, bro. Five hours ago? Get on it. Everybody been playing? Ani Banani, eight hours? That's fine. Hold up. Make a call. I'm going to make a call. This is important. This bitch needs to pick up now. Pick up. Pick up. 
Pick up. Uh, do I kick her? Do I kick her? Do I kick her? Do I kick her? I feel like I kick her. She's been out for eight hours. How do you, how do you, O'Baron Kenobi offline for 16 hours? What are you doing, dude? What? Oh, dude, this girl. Hold up. Yo, I'm on stream. Oh, yeah. What's up? Uh, so I noticed you haven't logged into Cookie Run Kingdom for eight hours. Bro, I'm sleeping. What do you mean? Well, yeah, well, you're awake now. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I'm about to get out of bed and play it. I Good. got my resin that I need to go through. Good. Dude, you... Did you see what level I am? No, what are you? I'm like 38 or something. What the fuck? What? You're level... Th I'm only level 29. How are you level 38? Dude, I'm sick, and all I've been doing is, like, just grinding that shit. Wait, what's your cookie power? What does that mean? Okay, uh, what's the power of your strongest cookie team? Oh, like, level 50. No, 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 no. I'm saying oh, like, oh, like, 111,000, I think. You're above all... I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, my... Okay. All right, you're killing it. Good job, soldier. I'll see you around. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm proud of her, guys. I'm really proud of her. Okay, never mind. All right. Anna's doing great. Anna's doing... Okay, we keep her. We keep her. Yo. I'm gonna need all y'all to level up this guild. Because I don't know how. Cool. Cool. They'll do it. I'm sure of it. Slaving away? Good. We already have slaves. W. Uh, I don't know how to do this, but somebody will figure it out. Somebody will, in fact, figure this shit out. Dude. Anyways. Boys. Oh, PvP. You'll see it next time. I got a meeting. Boys, it's been fun. I'll see y'all tomorrow early. I uh, just wanted to play a little bit of Cookie Run before I dipped and uh, hopefully get some more of y'all into this game. That way I have more of my uh, community in it. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's good. You know, we started late. Don't care. Uh, having fun. So, boys, it's been fun. I'll see you all later. Uh, lots of people are live right now. Canute, Laroe, uh, Zizix, Shy Lily, you know, MTAS. I'm going to go ahead and give Laroe a raid. I got to talk to my tax guy. Uh, wait, better yet. Let me raid Bonnie. Uh, Bo uh, but yeah, LaRoe and Ziggas are lied. I'm going to raid Bonnie instead. Uh, see y'all later. She did just go live. No, am I crazy? Her name, what is her name? Is it Bonnie or is it Bonnie Rabbit? Oh, Bonnie. Okay. Raid Bonnie. Boys, it's been fun. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. Appreciate y'all. Go say hi to Bon Bon for me. I'm going to go see Kung Fu Panda 4 tonight. Uh, I'll probably ask if Bonnie wants to go too. But uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. Go say yo to LaRoe or Zizix, whoever you want to go watch. And uh, yeah, I'll be back live again tomorrow. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome back. I appreciate you guys letting me have some time off. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay? Appreciate y'all. See y'all later. This was a great fucking stream back. And uh, yeah, I feel great. Hopefully y'all can tell. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.